Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Night Warfare, brought to you by the Armchair Dragoons. It's a pleasure to be among you, as always. I'm excited. I'm excited. Why am I excited? Well, first of all, I'm back with friends, and that matters a lot to me, because, frankly, sometimes the day job is just not as good as, well, what am I saying? It's never as good as hanging around with your family and friends and those you care about. But secondly, it's because I admit it, I've, been, uh, I've gone on a little bit of a craze, and that craze has been for Sam Mustafa's Rommel. Um, Sam's Rommel is a game I'd had on my shelf for a long time, and I finally just dragged it out because I was off for a chunk. Hey, Haz, good to see you, man. Uh, it just, I dragged it out because I wanted to play it, and we had a blast with it. And so, because I had some time off, and because I just do this sort of thing, my son was trying to track my hours in doing this. We, we never actually did that, but it was a lot. Uh, I wound up building the Little Wars TV Operation Overlord for Rommel. Um, it's big. It's it's big. And I saw that game. It's it's oh. it's, it's 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 their their game, which bless them. It's an amazing scenario that Greg came up with. I think Greg did. Um, but their game plays out on a on a twelve foot table, and they say, "Oh, it's a twelve foot table. That's really cool. It's four feet deep." Yeah, our table is thirty six feet by twelve feet. Yeah, because you're not playing um, wow. in 10 millimeter. That's right. Or, or sixes in their case. We're playing in 25s. Yes. That's what we're doing. And um, But to do that, to make that happen, i got to get a crew of seven lunatics that want to come together like we did for Leipzig and play Rommel a lot. We've Woo already got Vance, and he's going to be back tomorrow uh, to play with us. But tonight, we have gathered the group, another group of said lunatics, namely commanding the side of the American forces in this particular battle. We have the chronologist. Good evening. Good evening. And coming back to us, finally having hooked up his soup can and string from the wilds of Ohio, we have Jeff War, War 1221. Welcome back. Uh, guy, you filthy Germans. <laughs> Speaking wow. of filthy, filthy Germans, we have OJ's dad, Mike. Good evening. Good evening. And suddenly switching sides in a most turncoaty way, although a century later, we have Dalinar. Hello, everybody. I'm back. There he is, and we're very, very glad to have you. So uh, before we do all this, I can't believe it took you this long to dog me about it. I got a tweet. Oh, my God. I'm, do... I must be slowing up. I, I've I... been watching the Franco-Prussian War um, uh, series. Jay's um, dad, I forget who's putting it on. That's an interesting. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Bunch of no, and, and I. What series is that? I'm sorry. What, what series was that? Um, it's the guys that did um world the World War One, um series. Oh um, okay. Week by week. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got what is, now? What series is it? Is that like um, on Twitter? Is it Twitter or? No, it's on YouTube. YouTube. It's called uh, Glory and Defeat. Oh. Um, um. Uh, I, I didn't know much about the Franco-Prussian War, so I, it really kind of locked me in. It's, I have, it's an interesting. I've made this comment that, as ever, I was looking for Napoleon things when I was in the main uh, Deutsches, well, I was in the Deutsches Geschichtliches Museum in Berlin a couple of years ago with my family, and I discovered the entire floor dedicated both to the Franco-Prussian War and the Aust the uh, reunification of Germany or the unification of Germany, and you realize because I'm an American. They think about it very much like we do about our narrative, about our history. That was I, it, we only had such a short time because we were getting ready to leave Germany that day, and I was just so sad because it was an amazing exhibit. There's so much rich history there. That's good stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, right now as things stand, there are no really good Franco-Prussian War figures on Tabletop Simulator. The ones that do exist are the very abstract ones for the game that will happen at some point uh, here on the channel for Fire and Movement which is a, a fascinating system and a, a lovely aesthetic. We just never got into it. But tonight, it is Rommel. And uh, what we, the way we play Rommel, we have two sides. And as those who remember, I, I now have figured out, and I, you know, as Chrono pointed out, yeah, he could have mentioned this to me before, Rommel is played with squares. Well, Tabletop Simulator is gracious enough to give us squares automatically. This is just the grid, which is kind of sporty. I like it a lot, actually. Um, so we don't have to have any other kind of representation. So they're a little faint. I like it that way. It helps us with the aesthetics. But now we have uh, those things. Let's talk about what a turn in Rama looks like, because I think it narrates best that way. 
The first thing that happens every turn is you get an operations phase. And in the operations phase, we go over here to this all important op center. And the commander makes a critical choice. As the game goes on, he's going to use those op dice to fill in the events, the tactics in offense, and the tactics in defense. And even his special little ones down there. And as he I can't, see, I, I can't see my op center. Do I have a do I have a thing over this? You do. Yeah. Oh, I, I do have it, a secret. Uh, you are you on the same team, Jeff? Uh, He's yes. clubs. Yeah. He's clubs, and yet he cannot see it. I, I can I can get underneath it, but I well then let me do this. Uh, let me do this to this. I'll probably have to do this. This is fine. Do, 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 do. No, no, I want to do this. And it's set to see through. Yeah, I can see. There we go. Oh, you can see it now. Okay. okay. Yeah, can, can you both now. see uh, the one over here by Dal by Dalinar? No. No, I, you're not supposed to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Sorry, I thought you were still asking that. One. Yeah. No. Can the Germans both see theirs? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Good. So. You know, and this is the key piece. This is the heart of the game. It's really a, a sub. It, it's called a game within a game, but I honestly think it is the game. And it is here that the chronologist, and as the commander of the American forces, will decide what happens in the course of a game. But the first thing he has to decide is, as he starts to spend his dice, it'll fill up and he won't be able to do as many things. At some point, he will have to decide to reset his ops deck which means he has to take away all the stuff that's on there. It clears it off. But instead of rolling however many dice he usually has, which is six, which is six is what you get to roll at the start of every turn. Instead, he would only get to roll three. So however many he chooses, he's going to roll that many dice, either six or three. Any ones he rolls are going to be discarded. They don't count. That's a, a lost communication. That's a bad thing. But then he's going to start making choices. But before he does so, he's going to untip any units that are tipped. What is tipping? I've changed the basing on the infantry for those who saw the previous game. I've tried to make it a little easier. I've made the infantry a little smaller, fits more in the space. Tipping is just turning a unit to 45 degrees, just like that. That tells me that there's something not ready about that unit. All right. That means they've done an action. Done... Oh, there's a lot of different ways you get yourself tipped. Okay. Okay. Um, then you go to the events phase. Drinking. The drinking. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to trigger an event? And everybody's got different events. They do a lot of things. Read them. Know them. They're very powerful for you. Both sides have different ones. If the event has a blue border to the left, it's a once per game thing. You can only do it once. Even if you reset your deck, you don't get to do it again. You then decide if you want to have road movement. Road movement. You'll notice there's no roads on the board. <laughs> That's because Sam says at this scale, and each square is about a kilometer. Sam says at this scale, there's roads down there. You just can't see them at this scale. Trust me, there's roads there. In road movement, you get to move a much farther distance than you usually would. Any unit that is motorized moves six squares. Any unit that is leg moves three squares. Most units on this table are motorized. I have spent the better part of a week fussing back and forth with exactly who's motorized and who's leg in Sam's universe. Um, there is a basic premise in the rule that if it says it, it's leg, that's it. Everybody else is motorized. I'm not quite sure that works through the cards, but that's a different issue. Everybody here is labeled. Once you move by road, however, you do become tipped. So you're a little less able to do things later, but it's a great way to get around fast. How much does road movement cost? Well, usually it costs you one ops die. But, and it's all very nicely summarized right here, if you move through any non-open terrain or cross a bridge, it costs you two. How many units do you get to move if you order road movement? All of them. Kind of fun. How does movement occur? 
Well, you move orthogonally, diagonally, however you choose. The only thing you can't do if you have an enemy here and an enemy here, you can't move diagonally between them. There's a few uh, events or tactics that'll let you do that. Mostly you can't. Now, Jim, when you mm -hmm. move diagonally, does it still only count as one square? Correct. Okay. Wow. Yeah, like, a, there some... are a number of times we will be cut we will be called upon to say in this game sam don't care okay then once you note there somewhere actually <laughs> yeah i think there is where he's like well, we tried to figure it out but there's no really good way to do it without going over to hexes over to hexes so we went with uh, squares and called it even <laughs> yeah that's and that that was exactly it he said look yes it, the points are there but i'm just not going to worry about them that much then there's tactical, the tactical phase. Tactical phase is the guts of the game. In a tactical phase, that's where, and again, it's one point for the first time to move everybody. That's where you get to move and move into combat. Oh, yes. And remember, we talked about um, road movement. In road movement, you may not enter the eight hexes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, surrounding an enemy unit. That's right. They have a zone of control. So, you know, road movement is strategic movement, not tactical. In tactical movement, armor and armored infantry, there's none of the latter on this board, but armor and armored infantry can move two squares. Everybody else moves one. Or I think if they're moving in not open terrain. Correct. So. Correct. Um. If any unit has become isolated, what does isolated mean? It means it cannot trace a clear route back to this thing. Or this thing. The evil, wicked, wretched chronologist <laughs> found his supply point sat upon by Vance in the game that they <laughs> played. Which is a, has a really deleterious effect on your ability to move. It makes the ops phase more expensive. And then here's that list of when you tip things. There's no soft ground, but retreating any time toad artillery moves and artillery after it barrages. We'll talk about that in a second. We have open today. We have mountain. We, by the way, if you like our new mountains, we have new mountains. Huh, huh, huh. I thought they were upside down pie dishes. They are that too. I thought they were Viking burial grounds. If you wish, you keep thinking whatever you like. And I assume er they were hills. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. You're now my favorite. The uh... <laughs> Jello mounds. Jello mounds. <laughs> Jello molds. The uh... <laughs> how do I attack during my my um, tactical phase? Well, I go into the hex. How many people may I have in a hex? I can't believe I missed this. It's one of the most fundamental things in the game. The magic number is three. Never more than three. You may interpenetrate. You may overstack during movement. Never more than three at the end. And three of anything. So I come in and I attack you. Boom, there it's, we would say, bonk. I've not bonked you, but I, st I keep going. I keep looking for other tactical things. I, gotta, I forgot to bring the marker over because Haz did such a wonderful marker for us. So I come in, I bonk, and I mark it. We do that, and I keep doing all the bonks, and then we go and we resolve combat. The absolute 100% heart of the game. Notice when things become vulnerable. It's a big deal. Notice that when a unit is tipped, it is vulnerable. What does it mean when something is vulnerable? Combat value is halved. That is super serious. Okay. So how do I do a combat? Well, you'll notice if you take a look at your uh, tool tip, every unit has three numbers. In this case, this infantry unit has a four, a three, and a two. It's a lot like Blucher's um, artillery values. You take the first one. That's what he's got. That guy has four points. He is bringing four points of damage into this hex. How many points do these fellas have? 
they've got three each. Now you see those two numbers? That's attack hyphen defense. So he's actually got uh, better in defending than yep, attack. Four in defense, four in defense. So he's got 12. So this guy again has four. He's got 12. That sounds like a bad deal. That sounds like he might be in trouble. So he says, you know what? I don't want to just be in trouble like that. I'm going to go get some of my artillery to go fight you. Where's my artillery? Well, it's over here. You'll notice that the range of artillery is usually 12. Oh, I didn't fix these. This is based on... Uh, much better. That's based on Overlord. Did I fix my tank okay. destroyer? The, the German 105s are, are 12, so you got those fixed. Yeah, I did. Good. Thank you. Yep. So anyway... Um, these guys are 12. You'll notice 12 heck, 12 squares. That's pretty much the whole board. Line of sight doesn't matter. Spotting doesn't matter. Sam don't care. Well, <laughs> take a look at that barrage number. You see that barrage right there? Three. I'm, gonna, I'm always going to ask the attacker first. Do you want a barrage? If you do, you're going to tip. You're going to go, oh, okay, they're tipped. They're done for the turn pretty much. So they're going to say three. So now instead of four, I'm bringing seven. But maybe I'm not done yet. I'm next going to say, gentlemen, do you want to use a tactic? And that's where you get to look at your board and maybe figure out some nasty surprise. You will look at this simultaneously. And then I will ask you, do, are you done? Do you wish to reveal it? Do you have something to reveal? If you do, you're going to say it and it'll create all sorts of mechanical stuff that we'll go through. But let's say you didn't do a tactic. Let's say instead you said, I'm going to go four, seven, plus my barrage total, and I'm going to take on 12. Seven to 12, that's bad odds, but you did it anyway because you're crazy. You're like Velker. You're going to go over here, and you're going to say you're not flanking. Well, wait a minute. What's flanking? Flanking is you're attacking from here this way, but somebody else is attacking who is both, both non-adjacent to you and is attacking the same target and is not in the zoc of an enemy so there's no enemy there's no enemy there there's no enemy there and so if someone were to attack from here oh that's flanking so it's a little tricky to get but you can get it multiple well, elements they would, involved. They would, yes they would they would have to enter from that from from this correct uh, they could come from yeah. there. They could come from, and yeah, that's really it, because everybody else is adjacent to an enemy. Okay, and but they have to be in that square to be a, considered attacking. Okay. The theory, yeah, the theory of the game is that when you're attacking, you've actually moved into that square. You're not attacking from the square you came from. You've moved into the square. Okay. What about multiple? Yeah. Go ahead, Chrono. Oh, I was gonna say yeah, because each of these squares is roughly. A kilo, square kilometer so and most world war ii combat was within 600 500 yeah. meters so yeah. you're you're in there with them and so um you, so anyway you've got these guys all fighting and they've come in and they're going to have a fight at you and they're going to get you what about this element thing you'll notice each of the units is labeled with a division 16th folks grenadier division 16 16 16 see that but over here it's the 716th if two elements attempt to attack together, that's a bad thing. That's a downshift. Coordination is hard at this scale. If attacking versus infantry, that happens to be an urban, mountain, or bocage, all of which we have. Come on, bocage, do we? Oh, sorry. I, I was thinking uh, trees. That's right. It's just urban and mountain. Urban and mountain. If you got either of those, downshift. And tank shock. It's a great rule. If a tank attacks infantry alone in a hex, no tank support, that infantry unit receives tank shock because it hates being alone against tanks and gets a downshift. That's only an open terrain, though, right? No, it's, it's any terrain. Oh, I thought I saw where where it's under open. I'll have to take a look at that because I don't think so. It, it's right here. It's under the uh, summary of terrain effects, open infantry might suffer tank shock. Let me take a look, since I have my book here. Page 47. Yeah. Okay, we'll have Page a look 47. at that. Because the other thing is the tank is going to be tipped if it's, if it's being attacked in non-open terrain anyway. It's vulnerable. So the tanks. Uh, 
Yes, tank shock is open terrain and one side is at least one armor unit, but the other side does, has no armor. All right, there it is. Uh, the side without armor suffers a downshift for tank shock. Thank you, OJ. You're welcome. Um, so we have that. So that's that's the way that happens. What do we do then? When it's all said and done, all you're going to do is roll one die. You're going to add up the number of points. Remember that we said that we had seven points attacking? Let's say we rolled a four, pretty average. You're going to look on this chart right here, this combat grid, which is the heart of the combat system. You're going to look for a seven. You're going to see the number that you beat. The last number you beat is the box you look at. So you got a se so you, you rolled a four. You have seven points. So you look, uh, nope, not zero to four, not five. Oh, not nine, though. So you drop back to five. Because that is one box, you're going to do one damage. One yellow box. If you hit in the white box, you do nothing. Upshift, downshift. Once you have determined what has happened, you start counting boxes. Ooh, I got an upshift because I got a outflank. Now I'm up to two boxes of damage. Maybe I got a downshift because something else bad happened. I'm back down to one. And both sides take that damage. In general, although events can change this, if you are still, if the defender is not destroyed in the hex, the defender will get the option to retreat or not. Whoever retreats is tipped. There are sometimes it's advantageous to retreat, other times not. But when you retreat, you are tipped. Retreat is typically one or two hexes. Squares. Tanks. When tanks face each other, we have a cleverly named tank battle. I'm copying this one, so I have to delete it. This tank is attacking this tank. Oh, it's very serious. You'll notice that this tank has an armor value of three when defending the Stug. The Sherman has a three also. Let's imagine that the Stug is attacking. It makes this simpler. If the Stug is attacking, it has an armor value of two. Whenever you have a tank battle, you must pick one of the units, and a unit is a base, and say that is the lead tank. So we would say this is our lead tank, and this is our lead tank. Whoever has the higher armor value under the circumstances has what we say is the armor advantage. If the unit without the armor advantage loses the combat, it takes an automatic extra point of loss um really quick um that i think i think it, more appropriately it's if if the side with the armor advantage inflicts any damage whatsoever then the side with the armor disadvantage takes an extra box of damage fair because both sides can inflict damage yes and then, there's, a, there's loss, an assumption yeah you can't you can't do the extra unless you do some that's true that's true so, so we win loss, it doesn't matter. You can you can lose the combat, but still. Oh, I see what you're saying. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. The, so you can technically, so you can still like lose technically, but also inflict the extra damage because your tanks are better. But it doesn't help you uh, with that's, overall. I admit, yeah, that's sure. correct. I was thinking more of it as, I I don't think of it as winning if you don't do damage. But you're you're correct. That's valid. You're mm -hmm. correct. So that's so that's that case. We do have a very few advanced rules that are relevant to the current scenario. And here they are. You can untip using an op if you wish to. That's a huge cost if you ask me. Um, we un we don't have a uh, ri we don't have rivers or anything like that, so we don't worry about that. We have no minefields. We have no engineering. Um, yeah, I think that's really the only one. Oh. Technically, having two terrain types on one, one square is advanced. Oh, yeah, right? but so uh, right, I'm gonna, I, I will have a comment about that creature. The reason yeah. I didn't mention it is because I believe that hex becomes impassable in this scenario. Oh. Except for armor, I should say. Yeah. No, I mean, infantry, because... Yeah. I mean... Because it's got an objective in it, yeah. And now I have to do the one other thing that I neglected to do, which is pull up the scenario. God, there's a lot of chat going on, and I miss it. Sorry. Hi, guys. Because I got to put out the other markers. I think I accidentally deleted them. Yeah, that one's there. That one's there. That one's there. That one's there. 
One, two, three, four, five. No, they are all there. Hooray. I did the right thing. All right. The Allies start with six ops. The Germans with three. Allies move first. The description of the scenario. After some weeks of slow grinding fighting in Wooden Hills, Operation Dogface has finally pushed the German defenders back to an area where clearer ground was in sight. A final push might get the 6th Corps to its objectives. This is a 16 move uh, day, game day, which means 8 turns. This is one of another one of Sam's things, where each side is essentially a turn. The Allies need to capture 4 objectives and hold them by the end of the day. The Axis has 2 elements, the 7th, 16th, and the 16th. The Allies have 3 the Germans deploy in lines A through F. The U.S. forces deploy anywhere in line H. I'm going to provide the Germans with eight prepared positions, upshifts, that you can place, but no more than two per square. If you use the Igestellung event, you cannot place new defenses in squares with these pre-existing ones. Go fetch those for you. We lost Jeff, too. I'm back on. Oh, there he is. Good. Let's go drifting the on. The hamsters are running. The hamsters are running. Where'd you go drifting off to? Check out our cool entrenchments, kids. Nice. Blanky. Oh, Jerry, such a mess. Thank you. Is that Jeff popping in? It is good. All right. So what I think I'm going to do, it's a bold experiment. And trying to do this live is probably a galactic mistake. But that's okay. I've never let that stop me before. Um... Who's commanding the Germans? What color is the German commander? Uh, I think red. You are, is that you, OJ? Yeah, red? Yes. Yes. Red. I can't see my box again. Because you're... Oh. Oh, interesting. Can you and Mike see... Can, Mike, can you and... Uh, I can. Ron see I there? can. Yes, I can. Excellent. I can see the train, but I can't see any other units. So That's the point. Train. That is entirely the point. So I had to fill with our box to make sure uh, Jeff can see it. So, Jeff, do you want, well, we have the 7th, the 30th, and the 15th Regimental Combat Teams. Then we have the divisional support of three tanks, two uh, tank destroyers, and two artillery battalions. Yeah, you've played. Oh, uh, you guys got Hellcats? Yep. So, you tell me what Son I need to do and, and give me what, what you want me to command. Okay, and and, let, and, and it. let it be remembered, and to some, a point that Krona was just making... If you have divisional assets, in the case of the Allies, the Shermans, the Hellcats, and the 105s, uh, actually there are no divisional ac assets for the Axis, those can support either side, either element. They can go either way that, they, they, that you want them to. We basically have three regiments. All right, yeah. so... so um... Mike, you're good with that. What I was saying, you guys, I'll I'll take the seven sixteen. Yeah. You take yeah. the okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I I responded to you. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. All good. Tuna, good to see you, man. Hey, Red. I will not be goaded by you, Tuna. I will not. What's he coding you with? Colored bases. 
for, for for somebody that comes around like once every six months because it's past I know, right? I know. It's you... like, you know, I actually thought of Tuna for this because I think, to me, this game is sort of the next logical extension up from Memoir 44. I'm sorry, Jim. Um, no problem. What's our area set up is not the whole red, right? This row. Oh, sorry. You're the Germans, aren't you? Yes, I'm the German. Let me take a look and see what colors you've got. I. It actually feels like a more sophisticated blitzkrieg. No, that's you get the red area, man. That's oh, it you. is the whole red area. Eighth okay. Mm -hmm. okay. They're attacking can we, you. We, right. So can we put folks here? Yep. This is kind of and fun can, because you, I can see this. And then, and, and, and then we. Can, this is what I was talking about the other night, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, can we put, and then we can put these anywhere we want. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just no more than two per space. Oh, you put two in. Yeah, because like, what these actually do is they absorb the first hit any unit takes in that space. Ah. Uh, but can you do this? Oh, whoops. Jeff is lost. problems. Uh, but yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want to, if you want to do that though, is that just one? That's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's legit. Do something like that. Mm -hmm. You still good, Jeff? And then, okay, there we go. Do we lose them completely? Uh, maybe. By the time I said something before. I never heard him disconnect from Discord before. Yeah, neither did I. He's still yeah. in Discord, but I don't know. That, if he's... that could be lag, though. Right, exactly. There's a lot of hamsters are running as fast as they can. Mm-hmm. He was not getting a good ping, I will say that. Might have do it myself. I got Vance out there. Worst comes to it. True. You know he, he's salivating. I'm here too. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. You lobby lost here for a second. Your DC is stable. So. I, I'm going to set things up a little differently here so that it won't bounce me out. Because it's, it's my internet that's the issue. Yeah, I mean, it's. You're showing as. Oh, now you're. Oh, you're not in yet. Okay. Because you were showing as having a bad connection. Yeah, we're use. I'm. I'm using a hot spot. Oh, that's not a good idea. That's what <laughs> I use all the time. Well, I know, and you always have a bad connection. Oh, I don't. Know. I, I'm you do right now. I, I, I do not. I'm showing my you. wife's hot spot, but that's besides. Hello. Jim, I'm literally showing you below a hundred right now. You're, well, yeah, you're below. It's interesting. It's fascinating because you're showing bad connection. It says connected through C Steam relay servers. Experience might not be optimal, but you're absolutely right. Everybody on is pinging below 100. It's fascinating. I can't find you. All right, real quick, Jim, is this legal? Yep. Okay, so I can do that. Okay. The number of counting shall be three. I have that t-shirt. You need to invite Jeff? Uh, I might. We can mail it to you. Invite sent. Okay. You're funny. I try. What you were asking Maybe. about, Ron? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I see. I see. Never mind. I see. You see you yeah, you see what I did? Yep. I can. I don't know if that helps it or not, but. Okay, can you see our stuff now? Uh, my, again, the, bo the top of the blo box is blocked. Yeah, okay. But you can see everything on the row, right? You see the troops in the 
your deployment. Uh, on. no, that that's blocked too. It's got a white top on top of it. He's on the right team, so. I don't know why it's a problem for him and nobody else. Ooh. We had that problem one time before with one we of the did, games. We did, we did. Let's do that. How's that? That that I can see my troops now. And how's this? And there we go. Alright. It's just something you gotta toggle, stupid. Anyway. Give me one more of these entrenchments, Jim. Should have eight. Oh, I see. We're we're limited. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Well, if you want, you you want this one? I'll take this one away. No, actually, I'll just. Uh... You are limited to the eight you got, my got friend. No, that's fine. Okay, Chrono. Um, one. If you've got two. You've got four in this one box. Yeah, yeah. I'm just moving stuff around right now, so I can. Okay. Okay reorganize because i need to make space for stuff uh but do you see what i put in chat yeah in this box oh. right here that's where you got four <laughs> <laughs> and by the way a huge shout out to has for giving us nice ah uh, ah uh, check this out i know the bad guys can't see this but we now have the ability to slide our troops through our supply points uh. Hooray! yes i see what you're saying So basically everything right here. Yep. If you need to make space, I can make space. So. Okay. Do you? Is this my deployment, or do I, do I deploy? You can someplace? you can you can uh, muck about with that if you want, but you're handling that side, this sort of general side. So. Okay. And just to show everybody at home what they're seeing. I think that's kind of fun. All right, so we have to deploy in this white zone anyhow, right? Yes. The white zone is for deploying only. All of our infantry is motorized. Yep. I think we're probably going to make contact right off the bat, so I'm not sure we're going to get a whole lot of road movement. Yeah, I'm, I kind of suspect that they're going to fight us in depth. No, we are going to wait for you at the far end of the valley. Don't worry. Please come forward. These are both photographs from the Vosges region battles. It's like I, that you fought a war in this, you say. It's true of a lot of wars. It's like you look at pictures like, well, you fought there? Geez. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, I'd get a bad attitude about it too, tell you the whole truth. This photograph is taken right from this battlefield. So that's kind of, I thought that was really a cool one. How we doing? Uh, I think we're almost there. Um, we got to do something because we're overstacked in one spot still. I think. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't I think, realize. I think Ron and I are done. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I think I'm in the shape I want to be. All right. 
I will now take off the surprises. And you will now see where you are. It will be very exciting. <laughs> yeah that's actually that's that's gonna work having fog of war like that for a little bit that throws a little fun uh -huh. into the sack all right yeah allies you're first did, did somebody say no <laughs> no yeah he, uh, he, uh they're, they're they're not happy with it but they're good so uh, i can't imagine you want to reset the board chrono so six dice uh no, we will not be resetting. I can only get four of those anyway. Yep. So, <laughs> so let me uh, give you four. And yes, there is a maximum in most cases of ten ops dice. So there they are. All right, well, we go through our phases. Just to remind, we already had our reset step. He said no. We got our new ops. Nobody needs tipping. Chrono, you want to uh, summon up any events? Let me think about that. Let me take a look at our events. There were a couple that had some interesting. So events are all this row right here. This one might be handy. I'll let me next turn. Okay. So basically all these uh, tan colored ones are events. And the, the blue edge means it can only be used once. Yeah. Because this might be handy to do something, do some shenanigans, but... And the one above that might, looks like it might have some interesting... Yeah, we've got 10, though. These will go pretty quick, though, once we start using them, so... Okay. Beware, Germans. They're threatening shenanigans. <laughs> you know. Any events? Uh, I come. I use this one just to make it. I see. Hmm. Now you can. I'm gonna help you over there. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Um, I think I'm going to play this event here. To So you move down, and just for uh, Dalinor and OJ, what you do now is you take you actually take the physical dice from your ops area. Don't take the dice from the roller. They'll disappear. And you move them down, and you'll notice that the cost varies. Some cost one, some cost two, some can even cost three. Oh, Chrono is taking one that costs cost three. What is it, Chrono? It is called Intercepted Signals. What does it do? I choose one untipped enemy unit and make a legal road move with it. That unit becomes tipped. <laughs> Which one of their units do you want to move, Chrono? I think this Stug is going to decide that it has to go somewhere else. And remember... <laughs> that, that, see that? Uh, you, you can't take the infantry with it, unfortunately. Oh, uh, Whoops. So that, that Stug back there, he, he don't want to be uh -huh. there no more. Boo. Intercepted signals. What can I tell you? Can we put him in a hip place where we can shoot at him? Uh, we could, actually. We could, like, drive him all the way out here in the open and then move up our <laughs> tanks and attack him. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that kind of was what, you know, I was thinking. Yeah, we can put him like right there. Yeah, that makes him vulnerable, and we can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. All right. That is mean. That that, that mean. Those, those guys were told to attack this hill over here, apparently. And what I I'll tell you what I'll support you 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 make the attack and then I'll support from the other side. Yeah, we'll have to you'll have to do it with the tanks or the tank destroyers because no. The... Yeah, I, yeah, I, I get I, yeah, I understand. You have to make it. Oh, and, and just yeah. parenthetically, I did forget to mention, yes, Chrono, you're right. This is a forested mountain. There is no road movement allowed through a forested hex. Square. Yeah, if I attack, if I go to here, and then you come from this this side, we can... Yeah. 
He'll take a couple. Actually, you get, no, the, I can do that too. You get the element shift. But anyway. Yeah. All right. Do you wish to do any other events, Chrono? No. We're going to go to our first tactical phase. So no road movement either? No, not at this point. All right. So yes. <laughs> Pay your one point and do a tactical phase. Okay. That's everyone. Everybody. So... All right. So I can move two. Two. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can't. You no, you can't be next to me. So, yeah, I'm just gonna come up here. Okay. But I can support you from here. Infantry only move one, right? Correct. Yes. Unless they're armored infantry, which is pretty few and far between. Panzer grenadiers are. This is not gonna be pretty. Okay. I think that's the end of our first tactical phase. I gather you'd like to have another one. I think I would. If there's another tactical phase, they now must pay two, two dice for it. That's two. Which leaves them with a grand total of four dice. Any dice you don't spend at the end of the turn, you get to keep. We have taken the hill. There are guys in there. There are guys in there. There are Germans in those woods. There are Germans in the woods. See a lot of very brisk moving behavior. Come on now. There we go. All right. So we have, I think, two combats. Yeah, we got two of them. Yeah. I am uh, powerfully shamefaced. Face it, because did I not? Yeah, that was a great uh, special move because that then made this unit vulnerable too. I looked at that and I was like, well, <laughs> they're going to put them all the way up there. Yeah. So where's your, no, uh, no. You want, which one you want first, Chrono? Uh, let's start on the left, I guess. And all right, let's talk, to, uh, let's talk to the group about what's going on here. I see, uh, I see a bunch of boys in trees. How many we got in there? Two? Uh, yeah, he's got two, and I got two infantry yes. and one tank. So that's eight. Eight for the defender. And you've got eight for the attacker, plus this very nice tank, which is a four. So that's 12. Total Unf of 12. Unfortunately, I think uh, tanks are vulnerable in non-open terrain, so there's only a two. Oh, that's right. We must take him to a two. So we've gone to a ten, correct? Would it... Would it be better to not have him in there? I could throw another infantry instead. Um, if there was still armor there, that be might be worth having. But okay, I, do I you mean, mind if we uh, uh, just playing around? No, with... that's fine. I mean, everybody's learning. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be a total of twelve, attacking eight. The first thing we add, we take a look at the other modifiers because there are some upshifts and downshifts here. I do believe. Yeah, attacking infantry. Oh, that's right. Trees don't count. Always interesting to me. Forest doesn't count. But so he's got entrenchments. That actually is a... He gets to ignore the first hit you put on him. Okay. So this is now 12 to 8. 
I ask the first question of the attackers. Are there uh, artillery assets you wish to commit to this fight? Uh, yeah, I will commit my divisional artillery. All right, so three. So now it's 15 to eight. Defenders, do you wish to commit any of your artillery? Yes. Which one? Battery right here. Tip it. Also a three. So that's 15 to 11. Now, gentlemen, I ask you to go to your tactics boards, offensive and defensive. Give you a couple seconds to look at and see if there's any tactics you want to pick. If you do, you got to move those dice down there and put them there, and then we'll reveal them simultaneously. You could let me know when you're all ready. So even though we don't roll, we still get dice? No, you still, you, the, both sides roll during combat. No, 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 you know, Ron, you've got three. Ah, uh, okay, I got three. Uh, let me see. All right, we got three what? Oh, I see. You've Is got three ops dice. You start out yep, with three. That's why I said you could do it. You don't want to go with the one above? Oh, uh, there's not urban. Oh, okay. All right, I didn't see their urban. Okay. Or how about, oh, no, there's not, that doesn't meet. Okay. Could do that okay. one. Uh, one of these, I mean, it depends what you want to do. OJ, read that one again. So we do that. I'm thinking one of these three. I don't want to spend all of these at once, though. So. No, no. I, yeah. Memory backed it up. The, the, oh, did the, he? Oh, yeah, okay. that. Yep. Let's do that one. one. I mean, uh, we might as well do that one just so we can sort of. Let's do that one, I guess. We're pretty uh, well set. No, the, yeah. No, 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 no. That, that gives them the, the advantage, not us. No, 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 that gives them a down or this one. Oh, Either defender one. gets. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, so I think we're get, basically we get we get one dice to place, Jim. Is that no, right? You got three. You got these. Oh, we you can see those, you three. Got, see three dice right there. Yep. Yeah, you can play as many taps as, as, as you want. want, but then you got none, right? I mean, it's then you're out of dice. <laughs> you're out of dice. Yeah, oh, then you got I no see. dice. <laughs> and by the way, the yeah. thank you has he pointed out where they were. You gotta love these, don't you? <laughs> I do love those. They're really handy for doing where where's stuff happening <laughs> where's the fight and they're 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 fun i like them thanks yes um i think i'm happy all right so you're yeah, all set both sides ready yep uh so if everybody's ready what'd you pick chrono uh we have picked smoke defender gets a one shift down Ooh, one down shift how about you uh oj defense and depth the attacker gets one shift down Ooh, so both of you are getting a down shift Okay, so it is 15 to 13, both of you getting a downshift. Both of you now roll 1d6. Ooh, well done. Oh, six is brutal in this game. Four. Four, we'll hold on to four for a second. You had, you had one, two, three, four, you downshift to three. So you've done three points of damage to them. Mike, you rolled a four on a 13, which unfortunately takes you to a mere one. The downshift. Yeah, which which what, you were at two, okay. and you shifted down to one. Because you were 13, which left you at nine, but you downshift gotcha. here to five. So it's three to one. Let's deal with the three first. It has to be evenly distributed. But remember, because you have this entrenchment, which we now take away, Yeah, please don't take my troops. I won't. Oh, no, take his troops. Yeah, <laughs> no, take, the edge that's the, the first. So there's two left, and now it is up to you guys to figure out who of these two in the trees here you want to take the damage. I suppose we would just split it evenly, right? I believe yeah. you have to. Yeah, yeah I, I don't yeah, think there's one, a choice each, there. Each one hit. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's got to be even, Steven, so let me do that. And now there's one hit to pass out to our friends, the... Uh, Merikonski. Merikonski. <laughs> what would? Uh, who do you want to get it? Uh, I. I realize it's six and two threes, but you do have to identify one of them. Put it, put it on that one. All right. They are handled. Now, uh, you have, however, well, the first thing I ask defenders: Do you wish to withdraw from the hex square? I don't know that we can. Yeah, you can. You can pass. You could pass all the way through to here. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll withdraw. Okay. When you withdraw, you will tip. 
And how how many hexes are it, it's two. Can we go? You got you can go one or two, and then you tip. Gotcha. You both All advance right. and do not tip. So that's a win. Very good. That's all there is to it. That is a uh, that is how Rommel does combat in large part. Let's do another one. This is going to be gross. Uh, um, this this poor poor Stug has a uh, well. First thing we have to do is pick lead tank. Obviously, the Stug is the lead tank with an armor of three on the defense. What's the lead tank for the Americans? Uh, I'm going to put it on the Shermans. I think. So that's a tie. So there is no armor advantage. It's three and three. Do they have a... F yeah, they don't have a higher armor. Yeah. So it's a tie at three and three. Um, uh, the Stug is halved, rounded up. So it is a it is a two versus a lot. Four, eight, twelve. It is currently a twelve to two. Uh, Americans, do you wish to throw artillery into the fight? Um, I'm gonna hold on to my artillery. All right. I was, uh, I was gonna say I think we got a good enough advantage. Germans, how about you? No. Do you want to, Mike? No. All right. No. All right. Well, we've only got the one artillery left, I think. Right. Right. So, yeah. So, so let's uh, no. let's then switch it over to tactics. If you want to take a second, look at your tactics board. Oh, as a note, um, Sam recommends that. For current all the stuff you're using in current combat, you put your dice on one, and once you've used it, you turn it to six to represent so you can remind yourself uh, what stuff has been used and what stuff you're currently using. And because you use that, you have to leave that. Yeah, you got to leave your dice. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Gotcha. That's I had just moved it off to the side to down here just to show that it, we had used it. So. All right, you can take a second to look at your boards. Let me know when you're done. This is what I'm thinking. So we do that, and then we do yep. that. That's what I was thinking too, Ron. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. And then this one. Because. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, we'll only have one die left, but, you know. No, but eliminating, a, you know, getting a good possibility of doing some serious damage to those stugs. Is going to be helpful. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, Ron. Yeah, for later. Yeah. Well. Oh, I yeah. Have... Yeah. <laughs> All right. You gents ready? Uh, we'll see. I'm ready. America, are Germans? Which role? Are you, are uh, you ready? I... Yeah, ran, yeah. Ran yeah. tactics. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I asked uh, the I asked Chrono the last time. I'll ask the defenders this time. Germans, what tactics did you pick? Withdraw. Okay. And what just just so everybody knows, what does that do? It. Sorry, pulled away from it. Defenders all retreat. There is no combat negated if they if the attacker uses pinning attack. Yeah. Well, uh, so, as uh, it turns out. Yeah, yeah. Chrono, what'd you pick? I picked pinning attack. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> That's... And to go with it, I also threw in an airstrike. What's an airstrike? Which is an air attacker gets one shift up, clear weather only, not permitted in woods. All those things are the case. So it's a so it's twelve to two, with an upshift for the Americans. And we get an upshift because I'm flanking. Oh, okay. that's true. We have two upshifts. An excellent reminder. Two upshifts, twelve to two. Ouch. Go one d six. I guess I'll roll for this one. Yeah, we weren't winning that one, Mike. Yeah, four. Two, like is, a, fours two is a miss. Three, Three. with 12 is two four hits. Plus. Oof. That's a kill. That does it. Yeah. That's stug life right there. <laughs> oh. Um, that we cannot afford to have a third tactical phase, so I think that's the end of it for us. All right, please advance your, uh, oh, just, why don't you have turn markers? What is wrong with me? I don't know. There are so Well, I mean, there are a lot no, of things. No, no, yeah. Where do you want me to start? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want the list? That's exactly right. Oh, we lost Ron. Oh. Down. I mean, 
I'm still here. No, you're you're gone from the game, or at least you will be shortly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just uh, came up said you disconnected. Oh. Well. Everybody's showing really high pings. I don't know. If sudden, it's just, yeah. It's just you. Seriously. Yeah. I, Mike, you and Jeff both pinged like nine 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 there for eight yeah, it's, seconds. It's, so. Yeah. Jeff, yeah. This this the hotspot kids are. Uh... <laughs> oh, what's weird though is is to, to Jim I was only showing less than two hundred still. So that's that's why I was curious. It's funny. I'm not using a hotspot. Yeah. No. I, well, <laughs> some, well, sometimes disconnects just occur. Yeah. Right, well, the, yeah, you do live in New Jersey, so. Oh, burn. Sometimes, hey. they're, sometimes they're just working on your tower or uh, someone shoots it. <laughs> <laughs> someone starts sh shooting at your tower, exactly. Uh, I happened to red last time. Yeah, yeah, that's why red disconnected. Somebody started firing at his tower. Between, was celebrating New Year's. Where, where does this guy live <laughs> such that you got people in trailer parks fighting with paint, you know, paint brushes? And now people firing at his internet tower. Jesus, Lord Almighty. Um, California. I was going to say, must be <laughs> California. Sounds like it. I, I don't know. I'm, I live in Appalachia. And all of that could happen here, too. <laughs> yeah, but, but the difference is you expect that to happen there. Yes. I don't yes. know. If you, grew, if you grew up in California, you'd expect it to happen here, too. Oh, man. So that's uh, it's now turn two. So we started all over uh, asking OJ first, do you want to clear your board or are you okay to roll? If you clear your board, you're only rolling three dice. If you don't, you roll six. Hey, Ron, you need to rejoin the team. I can't see you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Got it. I'm oh, sorry. Were you talking about us clearing our board? Yep. Yeah. And then we what do we have? We yeah. If you if... – uh, Don't clear it. Yeah, I, okay. I suspect you don't want to, but I, this is the point you'd make that decision. So oh. instead, you roll 66. You don't want ones. Hey, Jim, can I, can I go ahead and flip this? Oh, yeah, by all means. Go ahead, OJ. Oh. No ones. Bing, little bingo. So you're going to have a total. I'm going to give them over to you here. So you have a total of seven. They will go quickly. So uh, they yep. <laughs> first thing you get to do is untip. Don't ever forget to untip. Everybody that tipped, I'm doing it for you. But if you got anybody else, untip. And that, and that doesn't cost you any dice. No, that's free, free, free. All right. So the first question I always ask, I see him pinging. So I'm asking, you want to call an event? Where's that going to be advantageous, though? What's that? Uh, I mean, he could, but I mean... The problem is, is, like, where? Yeah. Well, I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah. Yeah. Run one of these guys off the board. Is that legal? Oh. Yes, Jim. Can runs, Jim, can, can you run somebody off the board? Can you, using one of those events, you mean? Yeah. Uh, why don't you give me the name of an event? Because Sam actually gives full. Yeah. Support. Come and look. I think I know exactly what. I do too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just know curious. Curious. Knowing Sam, it'd be surprising if he didn't address it. Knowing us, I'd be surprised if we came up with something he didn't address. Because he's got... Oh, he's got description of the, the, the tactics, not events. Well, Crono, you, you have a... Oh, there it is. Yeah. This one I'm not sure about, because... Uh, let me see if I can find anything on it. There it is. It's clearly implied that you don't. Okay. 
yeah, it's it to me the clear implication is that you don't. That's fine. Yeah. You know, he he says he goes so if we all know what we're talking about here. The enemy doesn't pay any ops. You just move his unit and then tip it when you're done. Presumably, you'll move it in some really inconvenient or strange way. Which I did. <laughs> what did they move? Nothing yet. They're discussing whether they could have moved it straight off the board. So we continue to wait for an, a German event. Hey, Jim. Uh-huh. The tanks not move through corners? What do you mean corners? That's what I feel. Oh, I know we have um, If you're talking about gaps oh. in his lines. Yeah, you're talking about if you if this guy is, let's say, well, you got this guy right here, right? Right. If there was an American here, an American here, you can't move this way diagonally between them. Normally, yeah. Um, but that uh, event means you can basically just go whoop. I, yeah, because then it's just worded weird. Cause it says army units may move across corners in the first tactical phase of the start, even if those corners are touched by. So it looks like it was like almost as if you couldn't do it to begin with. Right. No. No. You, know? you can't. You can't. Like one or the like, other. Like normally, you cannot move between move right. diagonally between two units who are diagonal to each other. I'm so. reading like the first sentence, and then the first part of the sentence, and then it adds the second part. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I see what you're saying. All right. I was just curious about that, that's all. What do you think of this one? Like yeah, we're planning on going to the attack. That sounds good. Up here. All right. Yeah, you can do that. Or we don't have to do any of events either. No, so. I mean, we can. Uh, it's not required. Actually, hold on one second. Hey, Ron, you put uh, that, that in there. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, well, now secret. everybody knows. <laughs> well, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that was news exactly. <laughs> it's so worth pointing it out. But, I mean, we don't yeah. have to, but, yeah, I would go with that one. Uh, the modests are all done. It's uh, look up. Sword and the Flame by Kendo. That there it, it has hit it just as I said it. That's funny. Yeah, Sword and All the right. Flame by Kendo. He's got it's the best colonial set in an easy walk. So what you got? I think they, what are they playing uh, a Sword and Flame for? Uh, surprise mm -hmm. attack. Well, well, this actually, is yeah. he he built it for Sword in the Flame. In fact, he's got stat cards for it. It just if if you get a Sword in the Flame, I, he's got everything you ever want. I just typically play men who would be kings now. Let me back up here for a second, Jim. Oh, yeah, when, sure. When Jeff took my unit out here, was he forced to advance because he was attacking? Or yes. He did yeah, he's in the hex. He's in the square. He's yeah, re okay. remember the theory gotcha. of the game is he has moved in there and you're both in there now fighting and only one of you can stay. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think we want to do that, Ron. That's what yeah, I was thinking that I, I think that set that you guys are talking about has French Foreign Legion or something. Close no, it to doesn't it. have French Foreign Legion, but a guy just actually put up a pretty, yeah, it's interesting, a, a crude set of French Foreign Legion. There's a brand new set by a new modeler who's uh, taking an interesting path. Uh, check it you out. It's worth it. Do this one. Well, and there's all sorts of supplements for. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Sword and flame. Yeah, it's just nobody plays it anymore. Hey, Jim, can you lock down the, sure. the card here? Oh, yeah. It's pumped it a couple, I've Got pumped it. it a couple of times now, so. It's locked. I'll lock yours, too. It's locked. 
All right, so what event do we get? Good, Ron. Intercepted signal. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who's whoa, whoa. Who's rut row? Who's leaving? They're going for it. <laughs> that's not a leading Eyeball. road move because that's uh that's that's a zock. Yeah, they'd stay one square away from enemy. Oh, okay, that's fine. That works. Mm -hmm. That works. And then, and then you have to tip them. That's also yeah, that's not all, legal. That, that's also in the zock. Zock is zock is all eight spaces. Yeah. That's legal. So also, yeah, that's fine. And he's tipped. They got like, hey guys, let's go. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> the Shermans go racing across the. Let's go mountain. tearing and tearing over that way. All right. So with that done, any other events? Nope. Any road movement? No. No. All right, OJ. It's up to you then to call for the first tactical phase, which cost you one die. No, not these. We got no, you take one, one of those and you shove it just over here, like up there. And then, we, and then we move. And then you move did everybody. That event, did that event cost them three dice like it cost us? It does. That's none of your business. None of your beeswax. That's none of your beeswax, mister. Well, because it might be a different value. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I was just asking. No, no, no. That, no, that's it's perfectly fine. It's What they cost is a known thing. Yeah, like... But the the real sort of secret bit is how what you what you're doing. I know. I was only kidding. I know. We, we, I, I, figured, I kind of figured the cards were all the same. Okay, this is hysterical. Uh, Has and I are saying the exact same things. <laughs> you're both tapped in. <laughs> you're tapped into the world of TTS mods, man. All right, let's High get stakes. some moves. Let's get some moves out of yep. our friends here. Yeah. Is there anything you're moving? I don't think so. Well, can I pull these two infantry back here with this artillery unit? Can they all occupy the same? Absolutely. Square? But they can only move right. one. Okay. A uh, motorized only can move one. Are they motorized? Yeah, motorized. Yeah, motorized. No, they're oh, no, they're they're, first of all, they're okay, leg. They're but leg. secondly, motorized only affects road movement. Oh, okay. All right, now I'll yeah. move, I guess. The only people who get two in tactical movement are armor or armored. We're basically fully mechanized troops. Oh, you can do that. Which are very few. <laughs> do that thing over there. Oh, no, it's the Stoogs. They've come out. They've come to avenge their brothers. Well, we'll see. Yeah. I'm rolling. Remember? Oh, good point. <laughs> hey, hey, Jeff. I don't want to hear hamsters. Anything else? See, that's all our movement. All right, that's all the movement. I see no other combat, so we just do this one. Start over here. Uh, they're both obviously the leading tanks. One has a value of two, and the other has a value of three. Oh, tank advantage, armor advantage to the Shermans. Um, however, the attack value is four. The the value it's four to four. I asked. Uh, we're we're half. We're half because we're tipped. Oh, that's right. You're tipped. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, so that's four to two. Four to two. You're gonna throw that one in. Yep. Seven to two. Allies, throw in a. Do you have any ar artillery you want to throw in from that? Sure, might as well throw this artillery in. All right, that I'm getting is... a frantic call from a gentleman, <laughs> gentleman. Tank commander. So that's another three. So that's seven to five. Uh, tactics, if you want to go to your boards, please. I mean, I think they're probably going to pull the same thing we pulled. So I think I'm on a. Hmm. I'm thinking that they're thinking. <laughs> exactly. I'm thinking. Okay, do this. Yeah, hang on here. Let me look at it. Yeah, those French Foreign Legion guys are sweet. I like. You know, they're 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 nicely done. Okay. You guys good? 
How about the uh, how about the Germans? You good? How's that look, Mike? Is that all right? Uh, yep. Yeah, looks good. All right, so I'm gonna ask the uh, allies first. Would you pick? Uh, we I went with attack broken up. The defender's barrage causes one attacking unit active choice to retreat before combat. Oh. Ooh. Nasty. And um and so now what did you guys pick? I picked uh, reserve artillery and pinning attack. Which, well, we know what pinning attack is. What's reserve artillery? Attacker gets one shift up only if the first tactical phase of the turn. Yeah, so that basically is going to call off the attack. No fight. All right. Next tactical phase. Do you wish one or can you afford one? You cannot afford one. Uh... Nope. Oh, yeah, because it's two oh, dice. Yeah, it's right? two dice. That's it. All right, take it over to turn. Where'd your number thing go? Is it stuck underneath? Yeah, it is. Duck on it. Uh, Hold stuff still. Yep. I don't like it. It's because you had me lock it. Yeah. Well, I, was, I bumped it a couple of times, and it bounced the dice all around. That's... Is there a die under there? Yep. <laughs> Much better. Turn three. All right. Reset. Um, I am not going to reset. Six at dice. This point. Well, untip. Untip. Six dice. Six dice first. Tipping is after. Is it? Is it? Yes. I gave my order mixed up. Come on. Five oh, dice. one loses. So you get five more? Oh, you only have five. Okay. Now one tip. Okay, let Event. me see. I can't imagine it matters, but that's the way it reads. Uh, hey, Jeff, what do you think? I, would... I like this one, but I'm not sure if it's good. You want to play it now or wait until later? All right, which one are we looking at? That one. Let's keep the momentum up. Um. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. We're early in the game. We already have one kill. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay. We have an event. What is it? It's called the Arsenal of Democracy. <laughs> this event immediately places four ops into your op file. You do not have to roll them first. Ooh. And that's... Wow. That's actually kind of dirty cheap, too. Oh, what is that? Four more. It's uh, an event called the Arsenal of Democracy. And we get four ops in our file. Don't, don't have to roll for them. Right. But it's a unique event, and we can only use it once per game. Yeah, right. only get to use it once. All right. Any other events? I think that's it. That's all we played. Road movement. Uh, I think we will refrain from road movement for now. Tactical movement. And so we'll pay one for a tactical phase. Mm -hmm. Oh, here they come through them trees. Oh, Jim, so are they considered tips as they weren't, the attack was broken up? Uh, no, they're um, not tipped. They're not tipped. They are, it says they retreat before combat, which means they are tipped. Oh. Oh. I retract my statement. <laughs> That's true. They just got pummeled with uh, artillery barragement, I suppose. I think we only have the one in combat this tactical phase. Uh, we got two. Oh, you have two? Okay. Where are they? Oh, I see you push. Yeah, put them there so we can see them good. Where's the other one? Right here. In that town. Oh, looky there. They're going in. Looky there. 
Which one do you want? Uh, okay, hang on. Let me ask a question. Is it would sure. I be better just putting infantry in there, or should I sho shove the tank in there too? Um, I think infantry because tanks are vulnerable in non-open terrain. All right. And and you're not uh, going to get the shock anyway. Yeah, shock tank shock only counts in open terrain. So. All right. Then that kind of changes some things here. So. Oh wow. This is, uh, and, and uh, just, just to be clear, Chrono, you were barraging, right? Yes. Okay. You have to barrage. Your opponent must choose one of his units. I pulled an artillery unit, yes. Okay. Um, Let's see. Really, really quick. Uh, I think you have to leave one of the, either the tank destroyer or one of these infantry units here. Otherwise, you're overstacking, unless you're coming in from here. No, no, I've got, I've got three. One, two, three. These guys aren't attacking. I've got three infantry going in. Right, but you can only have three coming of any given yeah. because if you're so if these two are coming from here and this one. No, coming no, from these here, these two tanks are not coming in. No, no, I right, but but you've already got these three guys in the square. Yeah, this is a separate square. I thought. Yeah, it is, but you can only have. But remember, combat is taking place in here. Yeah. So, uh, oh, okay. oh, wait. Am I mis I might be misinterpreting something because I generally. No, yeah, it's, these, it, no, no. These guys cannot attack into this space right now. Yeah, they're, they're not, not attacking. They're not. Oh, okay. They are. okay. Very good. But I was thinking, like, never yeah, mind. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of it in a weird way. I'll explain later. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we, I'm sorry. You want uh, you want the town or the or the jungle first? <laughs> uh, let's just do the jungle first. Jungle first. All right, that's three. That's three armies pushing up. Four, yep. three, four. So eleven. Up against what? What's in there? Two. Just one dude. Yeah. Two. Where's yeah, the other? Two, one? I thought there were two in there. There's two. Where's the? Other? I don't see a second chairman. Oh, is he? There? Yeah, he's in there. Oh, he's up yeah. in front. I see. Sorry. So eleven to eight. Americans got any artillery? We have two units. Do you want to throw? Do you want to throw one in there? Um. Yeah. Let's. Let's. Okay. We'll throw this. We'll throw in this artillery unit. Fourteen to eight. Uh, how about you, Germans? Um. No. Okay. It's fourteen to eight. Tactics. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking of throwing in there for you. I'm not sure if I have anything else that will really help. I was thinking about holding off Ron until the next one. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking about throwing all three. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about all throwing all three of these in, perhaps. But later, maybe later. But this one, I think I'm going to throw in for you right now. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Okay. That's all we need, I think. Okay. I'm ready then. No, I, I would not play. You absolutely can play bolt action. I, I, I won't. <laughs> uh, I won't. Uh, the reason I won't play bolt action is twofold. I think it is. It's a great entry for people who have played 40k, but I have no interest in playing World War II 40k, and I will absolutely never chase a game that has additions. It's just, just I, I can't stand any game that runs me through that many additions. When LaSalle fixed LaSalle, that was different, but... Um, yeah, LaSalle, LaSalle 2 is more of a revision. Yeah, LaSalle, LaSalle 2 one. isn't the same game. It just isn't. Uh, so we had uh, 14 to 8... And we now have some kind of a tactic coming out of the Americans. Yes, we have a tactic. It is called infiltration. Double the combat value of one infantry unit if it's attacking mountain, woods, or bocage. Well, that's what's happening. Yes. And I imagine I you'd like would. to increase another one of these by four, uh, which is I a believe doubling. he would. So that yeah. would be 14. That is 18 to 8. No shifts. 18 to 8. No shifts. One die, please. Six. Ooh. Dude. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Ouch. That's three. Ow. Oof. My bones. <laughs> yeah. 
And it's not is... three for me. I only had. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it is. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm rolling one. Yeah. No, well, you rolled five first. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say who should have rolled that. Uh, that was both. That was both Jeff. He just double rolled. Oh, I double rolled. Sorry. Oh, is that it? So what was? What All right. Was my so, first it's, one? so it's four five. to. Th- so it's four to three. Um, let's do the three first. That's on the attackers, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so I rolled a five first. Okay, I didn't see I rolled the yeah, five. Yeah, you've got bad lag. Um, is the problem. So just keep just keep an eye on your dice, sir. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be one, one, one. Yeah, it's going to be one around, all around the board. Everybody, everybody gets some love. Everybody gets some love. I'm not sure I'd call it love, but yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that, one, that one unit is uh, definitely feeling it. And then we got to spread four, which I'm sure is two and two, because I think we had two guys in there. Yep, yeah, think so. Hard driving, fifteenth regimental combat team. Yeah, against some folks grenadiers who are having a bad day. <laughs> oh, they're folks grenadiers, so <laughs> that's that's yeah. They're, and they all, by and definition, the, it's a bad day. The Wehrmacht, uh, the Wehrmacht didn't have the common courtesy to give them something to get out of here with. So, Mike, the question for you is: Do you wish to seed the field or no? Uh. Because if no. you don't, they will go back here and tip. Or here. No. No, I don't want to see the field. All right. Americans will retreat and tip. All right. Do you want to take them one back or two back? It's up to you. Um, I, I hate being tipped and being that close, but at the same time, I want to keep the pressure on. Okay. And moving, moving one at a time is just... Uh... We could pay ops to untip them, but I'm not sure it's worth it. All right. right now, so. All right. How do I? What what button do I hit? I, it's been a while to. Um, turn, Q, just hold on. E. E. There we go. And I and I'll be. Hey, that's, that's our guy. <laughs> He's enthusiastic. Oh, 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 He's oh, chasing oh. him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a <laughs> that's a pursuit. Hans, get back here! What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, no, that guy ain't pursuing. He's defecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hey, <laughs> Jim, both of those guys are like stuck together now. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, they were. Now they're melding. <laughs> hang on. Hang, hey, 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 hang, hang on, Jeff. Jeff, hold on, man. I got to fix stuff. Okay. There we go. All back. Now, this thing. Ooh, this is a party. In it? A party. A little bit of party, so yeah. So we got three infantry against a Stug and two infantry. Okay. Um, the Stug is going to be at a half, so it's at two. Four. Four. Ten. Amis are coming in at 12, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. 12 to 10. Americans, artillery barrage. Sure, let's pull it in. Well, that's a lovely 15 to 10. Germans, artillery barrage. Yes. 15 to 13. Tactics, gentlemen. Um, yes, throw that one in there. And you can't choose ones you already had dice on, correct? Correct. That's what the reset is about. Uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> this one or yeah, this one? I, Either one. Because this will give us one. that. Yeah, I think that works. I think we're going to have to probably. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll figure out what to do after that later. All right. Everybody ready? I asked the uh, I asked the Germans last time, so uh, well actually the it was pretty well clear that no one was going to do it. So we'll go over to the Amer- to the yeah to the Germans. What do you got? We have concealed positions. What Defender gets what? Defender gets one shift up. Defender up shift. How about you, Americans? Uh, we have many tactics actually. Oh, okay. Uh, we are using recce, so we will shoot first in this combat. Yes. Um, we ha- also are using flamethrowers, which is not a war crime yet. Uh, <laughs> what does it do? Um, 
uh, we get a shift up and attacking urban terrain as long as one infantry unit is attacking. Mm -hmm. We have mass target, so if there are three defending units, double the barrage value of one artillery unit. Mm -hmm. And we have reserve artillery, which will give the shift up in our first tactics phase of the turn. So that's 18 to 13 to two upshifts. 18 to 13, you have a uh, double upshift and you get to go first. So let's have the Americans roll 18. You want to roll or do you want me to roll? Uh, they're your boys. You roll it. <laughs> Five will do. You're getting a lot of good numbers. One, um, two, three, four. That's an upshift of two. One, two, three. That's six. Ow. Uh, is that going to be an outright kill? No, it's not an outright kill. No, because the, the fortification is going to eat one. Yeah, yeah, fortification eats one, so that takes it to five. Now we go to the Stug. So it's got we got you got five left. So everybody gets one. The Stug can evade in lieu of eating its final. Yes, hit. let's talk. Act, let's talk about that. What a great point, Chrono. Now everybody here has to take one. All right. You've already had one taken by the. Uh, you've already had you, you already had one taken by the entrenchment, so you've taken one, two, three, four. That means you owe two. You could put them both on this guy, on these guys, and have them stay in the fight. You could also put get the Stug to leave because it's already taken one hit. It evades one space or two spaces back and tips but it runs away with that point you don't have to take it so he burns a point and re retreats instead of takes a hit exactly okay. all right you can take the hit and stay if i retreat though i'm going to lose that combat well you well right. anybody that's not in the square won't be able to fight in because right. you're still going to get to punch it Right. I think we'll just stay and fight. All right. I do look here. And so then who gets, uh, who doesn't get another hit? Oh, let's make it the back guy. So the tank takes another hit? Oh, I'm sorry. No, the tank doesn't. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking No, about the other two team. guys then will have to take their hits. Okay. Yeah. So both the units will sit down B to one hit. So they are one each. Oh, no, they're defending. So that's four plus the Stug, which is a... Two. Which two, is six. a... It's going to be a two, because it's round up, I think, we discovered last time. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a round up. That's six. Yeah, two. So you guys got six and an upshift. Plus the artillery. They had the artillery, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Six plus three, nine is plus an upshift. No, three. Three, nine. Yeah, well, you got something. Uh, yeah. Two. Yeah. Hit him for two. Uh, let's see. It's who do you want to not get one Americans? Again, it really doesn't matter. I think they're all four through twos. Yeah, they're all the same. So, yeah, just pick two and right. hit each. All right. Uh, Germans, do you want to stay or go? We'll stay. Americans go and tip. Can I go to the side or do I have to yep. go straight back? Go there. You get the bot, Jim. Oh, and oh, I got yeah. a tip. Yep. Thank you. Sure thing. Actually, let me rearrange them slightly so they're actually. Yeah, there's you know there's a lot of things I could say about bolt action, but it ultimately comes down to all the 40k stuff. It's not a bad game. It's, it's also it's very limited by what it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not a historical war game. It just isn't. It's a it's a it's a space game with World War II soldiers, which is fine. I, it, and if you like it, that's what you should play. Just I it it can't it doesn't have a touch on chain of command. It just doesn't. Yeah, I mean, motivated actually finished a whole army a few years ago. That's on the tabletop. So I have those. 
Oh, do you? I'll give you credit for that. I was part of like a little local league. Oh yeah, that's and that's and that's the other thing. I I think that's where it survives the best and the most is that it it gets a whole lot of people that want to play it, and that's a good thing. That that really is, and hopefully they move on to other things. You know, for people that run conventions, it's it's a attendance getter. Yep, without question. Yeah, I, and I, I I have a game day coming up, and I've got a team Yankee. Um, a bold action and a saga tournament and it's just gonna drive people through the door anyway um i'm checking something I, real quick uh just sure. so you know Jeff, you, what you did was legitimate but you do have to retreat to the hex the the square from which you came okay but uh, that's what be, i was worried about because you can go to yeah, it's it's on page. Uh, dude, I was, I'm, I'm on it. And, well, and that's that's why I asked the question. Yeah, yeah, it's right. on 55, but it's a two square thing. So if you go back to where you were, you can still get to here. Yeah. So it's fine. And that's what I was Torv. I was talking about earlier when these guys are all. When I was asking, like, well, where did these guys come from? Because this is three and this was two. Yeah, yeah. And so you... if you have to retreat, you're going to end up overstacking. So it means you have to go back to. Yeah. Which is something. But if you don't mind going back to, you just want to have another echelon coming up behind them, then that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so those guys are tipped. So another uh, ops phase from our friends, the Americans? I think... Mm, I think I'm going to have to pass on a second ops phase this time. All right. Turn four. Germans, do you want to uh, reset your board or do you want to re-roll all six dice? If we reset our board, then what do we, you roll three. Do we get? Three. The reset is very much a lull in the action. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So deciding when and where to do it is important. <laughs> yeah. But but the question is, do we reset the board first? Yeah, I know. I was thinking that too. How much we could do on attacking? What's that? There's not a lot he can do on the attack. On the attack. Right. Right. That's why I'm thinking we go ahead and reset the board and roll three dice. What you doing? Yeah, go ahead. Reset. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna reset. Yep, we're gonna reset. The Everybody board. comes off. You roll three dice. All ones are wasted. No, no ones. Get them all. Let me uh, put three dice up there for you. Untip. I don't think you got anybody else, do you? Okay. Events. Yeah, might as well. What's it going to be? We use it now. Totaler Krieg. Totaler Krieg. Totaler Krieg. What does that do? You get five ops in your file. Ooh. You do not have to roll for them first. Oh, there's the uh, equivalent. But we only got four. That's cheating. No, 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 no. You understand, they're going to total war. <laughs> yeah, this is, they're Totaler Krieging, don't you know? Any other events having Totaler Krieged? Um, I don't know. No? If we wanted to do one of those, I wouldn't do both. I think I'd just do one. Yeah, but what's, it, what's that do, though? What do the might as well just ask, right? Yeah, just what does it. the yeah. reorganize option events do? Ah, reorganize. That allows you to grab one unit and give it a point back, one of its strength points. You get stuff That's back, basically. Yeah. So, like these boys right here that took well, they're actually, yeah, actually they took a hit, so they would get it back. You couldn't or do these it to guys the could He could get do it to the Stug. It is not isolated. Let me see. I'm trying to remember which one you're 
talking about? Yeah, we organize armor. You can do it for an armor unit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Infantry is self-explanatory. The Germans have replacement battalion, which is all infantry units in one square. Um... Yep. So any other events, Germans? Do you want to do that? <clears throat> yay, no. No, yay. Looks yeah. like he's moving yeah. dice. All right. Yep. So reorganize the uh, Stug. Yep. Yes. Back to full strength. Okay. Any other events, Germans? I don't think then, so. Nine. All right. Uh, road <laughs> movement, any? Nine. Tactical ops. <laughs> Tactical phase. Yeah, I'm going to move these two infantry back into here. Okay, uh, yeah, so you guys going to die, right? Yep. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to move these two. Uh, where do I move them to, though? I can lock that frame, Mike. Oh, I was trying to move it back up on the hill. I didn't... Yeah, you got to grab it by the right side. It's a... Ah, uh, there you go. The has special. No, I actually built that thing. Oh, sorry, has. Ah, <laughs> should should have known. <laughs> All right. Wow. So those guys got moved back. What you got, Delinar? Anything? Nope. All right. Any other? Uh, is that that was the everybody moved? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other ops phases? Or are you done? Uh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Yep. Right, so I these just... guys are these guys are hanging out. Okay. Just checking. We're hanging out. Just you know, just to observe as you've seen, tanks are at a significant disadvantage in urban areas. Well, at this point, though, we pulled him back out. They just overwhelm our, our infantry. Yeah, it could certainly so. be. Okay, very good. So no other okay. ops. That's it. Uh, let's take it to turn five. Turn five, please. Americans, reset the board. Oh. Uh... Holy cow. <laughs> I just looked at your board. Yeah. No kidding. There's a lot of dice. I mean, there. I kind of want to do one more turn to see if we can squeeze something out. But well, I also... I... I think we can get it done without, but if you want to reset the board, that works too. Yeah, now's not be a bad time to do it. All right, just so like reset. I just don't want to give. Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking out oh, loud because I also don't want to give them a chance to do more reorging. You know. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think we if we keep the pressure on them, it it it's a distinct disadvantage because we have some real issues but pressure 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 advance 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 attack attack under attack. pressure okay well we will not reset this turn we'll go for it all right six dice you have Kill six. You, I, I don't want to put any whammy on you but you have really avoided the bugaboo of uh rolling Flat, my last game where yeah. i was rolling like two ones every time i roll yeah. all right you got six dice up in your thing uh untip Oh, it's untipping. And once you're done with untipping, I asked, do you want to do an event? I think I do want to do... Um... Vance, Vance, Vance approves of your decision to push it. Thank you, Vance. Thank you. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm thinking Vance of... also said that you roll lots of ones, though. So. That's true. It is, that's true. Well, that's not insult. That's just true. Yeah, that's, that's just, just report. True. That's reporting the record. <laughs> Nothing more. Uh, Jeff, I think I want to throw this on the urban. On the urban oh, hex. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I need to get over there. I'm sorry. I think I'll throw this in the urban hex and then probably and push it. Let me 
What are we doing here? This one. All right, call it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we are. Uh, we have two events. One is surprise attack. Uh, choose one square which the enemy may not place. Play any tactics during the first tactical phase of this turn. Where that will that be? be? The, the urban square. Uh huh. And uh, we organize inventory. We we organize one supplied non isolated inventory unit, and I will leave the, that choice up to Jeff since they're his inventory. They've been taking a beating. Who gets made a little better? Uh, look in here. Um, yeah, let's um, any one of. In this hex, oh, there's, this, there's this guy who's down to two, down to his last tap, so you could pull him back up. All right, yeah, let's, let's that fella there. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. He's back. All right. Any other yeah. events? That will do it. Road movement. No road movement. Ops phase. Straight to a tactical phase with one die. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's coming again. Really? Is, 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 is surprised in anybody? I mean... I'd leave one tank there, at least, to stop him doing anything, any sneaky, breaky, kiki maneuvers and running for our supply point. <laughs> Chrono still has nightmares. I do. <laughs> we don't have Cossacks. We can't do those things. Uh, but Vance did. <laughs> Vance just had uh, British tanks, and he still Yeah, did. he just ran some British tanks on top of his depot, <laughs> sat there for five turns. <laughs> I can't Against... imagine Vance ever doing anything like that. Oh, yes, you can. Don't tell lies. It's like, I know. <laughs> Unless it was the CT, but. <laughs> Tournament games are stupid. There, I said it. I played, I played so much DBA. I had so many. I think I had seriously a dozen DBA armies. I, when I was younger, I loved tournaments, oh. but now it's like, I'm like you, I played DBA. I, I, there was probably a five-year period where I didn't even want to look at DBA. Right, that's, and, and so much of it is just, I go to the Historicon and I watch those guys, and it's like, if that's what if that's what gives you your jollies, I'm not going to stop you, but ugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. I are think we, that's it. Amis are done moving, we're good, all right, I see one fight, it's a biggie. Two fights. Oh, two. Thank you. See, that's why we got the big yellow has markers. Which one you want, Jeff? Let's start over here on the left. In the trees again. In the trees. Into the breach once again, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Fill it all up with American Dead. Three, three, three. Total of nine against. Ooh. Four. Yeah. So total of two, four. Correct. Yeah. yeah. That was so, my calculation. Yeah. Nine to four. Artillery Americans? Um, I think I want to save artillery for the other fight. Yep. All right. Art artillery Germans. Hey, no. I said okay. I'd skip it for this one. All right. <laughs> yeah. Go to your tactics boards, please. Think. Okay. You just call out when you're set. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Ready. Germans, you good? Yep. Yep. Anybody play any tactics? Yep. Yes. What'd you play? Ot ob. Oh, I love this. What's it do? All infantry units in, in this combat may evade. Look at you. All right. Now, remember what that's going to do. It means they each have to they do have to take a hit, but they can get out of there after they do. Uh, that's not anything you wanted to play in this situation because oh. both, both these guys right. are dead if they take a hit. Uh, okay. okay. I thought if it was something wanna, else. Uh, if they want to, if, um, what you probably want to do would be withdraw, which would be a defender's all retreat for this situation. I don't think they've got that option because I think but, they haven't reset their board. 
Yeah, they have. Yeah, we yeah, did. We have. Yeah, yeah. Did. Oh, oh yeah, you did. I'm sorry. You're right. But if they want to play with think... draw instead of that, that's fine. I mean, but I don't were... think we want to do that anyways because that would put them here in open ground, and if they do another tactical turn, they can hit us with their armor no. in open ground. All right, so it's one half dozen of one, uh, six of the other, I guess. Right. All right, then, if you want, we'll do these. Okay. Um, do we need to check like, one thing real quick? Just one of them. I wouldn't do both. Really? We got the, uh, well, look at what we got coming up next. You can't use anything. You can't use tactics for that. They played that one event card. Yeah, uh, I played surprise attack. Yeah, so so you. You, get no, you get no tactics in the town. <laughs> right. Okay. So. Gotcha. At least in yep. this tactical no, then, If we go again, yep. then yes. All right, All right. So, so we'll just go 13 to 4. You, you uh, The Americans didn't play a tactic, right? Oh, no, it's 9 to it's nine to 4. We did not throw yeah. artillery in. Oh, you didn't we throw did artillery. Not. Okay, so 9 to 4. All right, 9 to 4, no upshifts, no nothing. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's theirs. All right. And a 1D6. Well, we, ha we have upshifts. What you got? We played two oh. tactics: defense and death, and concealed position. Oh, you did okay because you didn't say that. Uh, oh yeah, that's not, yeah, that's how we were just discussing. I was like, yeah, we'll play these two instead. Oh, uh, okay. We well, I I did ask. Anyway, that's going to be yeah. one hit. That's going to be well. Well, what do those both do? One basically upships us. One downships them. Okay, oh, so, boo. That's so they hit person. nothing, <laughs> and now you get one die on a. So they hit nothing, and you get four with an upshift. Go. No, they rolled a two with an upshift. Yeah, we did. Oh, they rolled a two with an upshift? Yep. Two with four. That's uh, nine. One, One hit. hit. Yep. Who do you want it on? Is it all the same? Yeah, they're, they're all, all the same. same. Yep. All right, I'll just grab this guy on the far left. American or uh, Germans, you want to hold the forest? Yes. All right. Amis, leave where you came from. And yes, tip, thank you. And again, we count. We must count. I, I didn't like it. I'm not going to give him a tip. Yeah, I'm afraid you have to. <laughs> the service was inferior. I understand. Four, four. It's Europeans, they understand tipping culture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Twelve versus two plus. I think twelve to six. Yeah, twelve to six. Twelve to six. Um. Americans artillery. I'm gonna throw in both of them. Oh dear. Eighteen to six. Uh, Germans artillery. We're throwing in both. Uh, you can only throw in one. Oh really? This one. It's only one of them that actually attacks. Yeah, you can element. only do it. You can only support uh, its own element. Oh, uh, okay. Ours are right, so. ours are like uh, higher level artillery. Yeah. So his are at the support. divisional level. Yeah. Yep. Right, might as well just on the one. 18 yep. to 9. You can't do tactics. Uh, Americans, you want to do any? Uh, don't have any I want to use. All right, 18 to 9. No upshifts, no nothing. Uh, come oh, on. Dear. One. Six. Ha! Whoa. Three to one. The uh, uh, that That's a... Two. We are 18. You're eight? Yeah. No, yeah. 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 It's 12, 16. You rolled a 1, 16. Yeah, 2, sorry. 3 to 2. Quite a victory for the uh, for the Germans on that one. Holy cow. But you've got to now account the... Let's do the uh, 2 for the Germans. Who do you want to get the 2? Either of these... It's got to be evenly split, so one of those infantry has to go. Okay. But you can then decide, do you want both the, you want both the infantry to go, or you want me to hit one on the tank? Uh, one on the tank. And one infantry goes, you said? Yep. That's it. Right. And now three, one, one, one. Yep. And they go back two or go back one? They can uh, one or two. But... Right, so one, two... As long as they go first where they came from. Oh, okay. Well, then one. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's the same. Get out of here. Yeah. 
They've, that's been a, a doughty defense. Let it not be denied. It is an urban area. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think we've done fairly well. All right, how many turns is this game? 16. Uh, we each get eight active turns. Okay. So right, it's, okay. This, this counter is correct to 16. All right, okay. I don't think we're lasting that long, but... Uh, no. Do you want to try again? Too much armor on the board. I don't think you want to try again. I'm looking at what I got. I'm thinking about it, but I don't think the odds get much better because we're not going to have artillery support anymore, and they'll be able to start using tactics. So. Well, we can we can overrun that artillery if we. Oh, we can try. They've got they're dug in with infantry support, so. But we can make a go of it. Achilles says, "Point of order: Stugs are not tanks." He's correct. <laughs> of course, he's correct. Yeah, we'll go one more. You will now spend two points. Two. I have done so. One, two. One, Ooh. two. Hit him with 105 millimeter artillery as we're coming up the hill. Hmm. Those guys are all tipped, huh? I'm not sure what I need to do. Hey, when they attack those towns, shouldn't they automatically shouldn't they automatically downshift? Mm -mm. It says attacking for symmetry in urban mountain or Burkaj. Oh boy. Yeah. Everything you're attacking with should have been downshifted. So that's yep. uh it's two step losses basically. Yeah, I give them back to you now. So would we get our one infantry unit back? Yep. Actually he wouldn't have hit you at all. Because you're down at nine, you'd have hit nothing. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. rolling so that one sucks. Get, get Would that have back. been both? Both. Yep. yep. Well, you get them. You get that guy back, and the Stug no longer has a damage on it. Okay. So, do you guys want to redo your? Do you want to attack or? Um. Let me see what this is. Uh, well, I gotta take it sooner or later. Two, four, no, I know. Six. It's gonna be six to nine again. No, six to six to. No, it'll be six to. Six to eight. I'm not sure it's a good you keep attack that at this point. We well, start with a five. Let me add there. Yeah. You're gonna add something there. And do remember, we wanna, we're playing with we wanna... the advanced. We're playing with the advanced rules that allows you to untip on an op. Do you mm. want to? I'll spend two ops to untip the artillery. I actually spend one to, to and one to untip one of these infantry. Okay. Uh, let me see. If I want to do anything over here? So you spent three to untip. Yep. And I guess we'll go over here. And I need a marker over here. Another fight? Where'd you do that? Where kind of trouble you make it? Whoa! Ah! Where shall we begin? Uh, let's start on the left again, I guess. Yeah, we'll see how tanks do against this dug-in position. Yeah, no, well, tanks were pushed. Uh, tanks were pushed out. I thought. You want to do any other? Oh, over there. Ooh. Four. Eight. Do they get the tank shock on them? Yeah. They they do well. Uh, that's actually mountainous terrain, so it's not not open. Oh, right, yes. open. yeah, you're not open, right? And you downshift. Yeah. So it's four. Is the armor vulnerable since it's that's, that's, not that, open? 
Oh yeah. yeah, that's not open terrain. You may want to rethink that attack. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that right. attack. That attack just got real ugly real fast. Okay. And the problem with that is what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once again, this this Vosges region. I tell you what. Yeah. So I guess we'll start with the town again. Into town, Americans are halved. They're halved. Um, uh, here's a question. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They're not, not, not half, they're just downshifted. Is that just a downshift? Okay, nine. Yes. Nine. To six again? Yep. Yeah. So, we begin by saying nine to six. Which of the artillery do you want to throw in? I'll throw them both again. Fifteen to six. Fifteen to six, um... Now remember, in this instance, because it's the second tactical phase, you would be able to throw in a defensive tactic if you wish to. Um, but first I ask, are there any artillery left for the Americans to throw at this? You mean the Germans? That's what I meant. No. All right, so it's 15 to 6 with that thrown in. Tactics for both sides. If you don't think uh... so, that's fine. I'm good. No, you can, but I don't think I. You, I think you have to have an artillery to use it, though. That's correct. Okay. Are we using anything? Um. I put out what I can. Okay. All right, so it's fifteen to six. Uh, anything from either side? Just looking. No, there's nothing we could use. All right. So it's no. a straight 15-6. Downshift for the 15. Ooh. There we go. Now he rolls it. Three. Four. And one. So three hits. That will get rid of the infantry. <laughs> yeah, that, that one will legitimately kill the infantry. That's one, two... And then the question is, the Stug staying? Yes. Takes one hit. Americans leave. Who takes well, the let's one? Do... Um, I think they're all the same, so you might as Are well... Are we still all the yeah. same? Yeah. Yeah. Man, they're getting punched up, though. Well, I suppose... I they're... mean, it's grind. It's a grindy, attritional uh, attack. Just, yeah, I, I was going to say, yeah. This... yeah what, what <laughs> taking, did... It's taking a town. And that's where they... That's where they came from, so that's fine. Yeah. And they tip oh, there. Yeah, I got a, yeah, I got a tip. Achilles says, at least you haven't called them Austrians or French yet. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> no the wrong era entirely. Mm -hmm. Although, there are scenarios with three French, so. <laughs> All right, so we have that. Let's scoot over here to this fight. A new fight for a change. Yeah, I called the Austria age. really didn't exist anymore at this point. Who's hiding in the trees? It's two, uh, seven, six, seven, one, six. Eight. It's eight to twelve, I think. Is that so? That looks like so. Twelve to eight. Um, Americans have no artillery. German artillery. Yes. Twelve to eleven. Tactics either side. Look at them. Uh, I've mm, I've done what I can. Okay. Yeah, we we'll do that. You got it? Right. Yep. 12 to 11 is our current count. Uh, I believe that the Germans have a tactic. Attack broken up. Defender's barrage caused one attack. That's his Unit pick. act of choice to retreat before combat. All right. So I'm rolling an eight now. Okay. Yep. Eight to uh... 11, I think, because they have artillery. Yeah. Yep. Eight to 11. 8 to 11, no shifties. 4, 1. 1, just 1. That gets to the fortifications. Two. Yeah, so the fortifications down, and Chrono takes 2. Take 1 on each, and for treat. Is this considered bagage, or is no, it just No, no, this is, this is forced. Okay. Well, you was talking about bagage earlier. Yeah, the... yeah. Okay, so these are the guys. It, which guys were they that just pulled out, Chrono? These guys here? Oh, sorry. The, the, yeah, these two guys in the trees. Got it. 
thought that's what I saw you do, but before I start cutting guys in half, or well, not in half, but Ew. All right. And put him back, oh. put him back together. That was a flanking attack, but it wasn't because he made one of my guys retreat. Yeah. So. Okay. So that is it. That's that's gonna do it for us. This is no point. All right. Turn six. Turn six. Turn six. Turn six. Uh, Germans reset. Nine. Nine. Roll six dice. Good run. Really? Oh boy. Huh? All ones. Oh my oh, god. Two. two ones. Ouch. <laughs> that was me that last feels. time. Yes, I do. No, no. I'd say I feel bad for you, but I'm playing against you today, so I don't. <laughs> Alright, so that's what you got. Mm. Untip. I'm sure Vance won't mock you in the chat later. No, I'm sure not. Anybody got to untip? Do it now. Oh, yep. Our Watch artillery there. Your guns for sure. Ron. Oh yeah. This basically is a board game using miniatures. Yep. A lot of his late, a lot of uh, a lot of his. I think a lot of Sam's late stuff. Can I, essentially I, I, an operational, an operational game. A game at this level, trying to play the way miniatures games play, is stupid. I was really thinking about that criticism, and I think that's the conclusion Sam came to. A lot of people want the swervy, maneuvery tank game. It doesn't make sense at this scale. That's yeah, because each of these stands is like 20 or 30 tanks. Yeah, so it's, like... It's, it's like, okay, yeah, I, I wheeled my tank 35 degrees. What what sense does that make? Your um, whole tank battalion was wheeled 35 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. <laughs> so, to Achilles' point, in, in this game, though, is the stew considered armor? Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sam don't care. Yeah, it's all armor, basically. And tank destroyers, basically, depending on the kind of tank destroyer it is, gets represented by different armor values. Like, some of the later war, like, German stuff that's basically you sit behind somewhere and snipe stuff has, like, will have, like, a 2-4. So it will have, like, a 2 armor on the attack, but a 4 armor on the defense. Whereas the American tank destroyers... I think in his particular system, he gave him three on the attack and two on the defense for whatever reason he decided to do that. But I think because of the way they were used. Whoa. Quite That's frankly, frankly they, they, my, Ron, did you see my note in the chat? At this scale, tank destroyers were basically yeah. artillery. And, and and some of them function that way. Yeah. The, S, the SU-122s do. Well, for the Americans, most of them... Uh, the tank destroyers, they had to cobble them together in the uh, Battle of the Bulge because they were all being dispersed and used as artillery. Yeah, which is interesting because the Americans had like a little self-propelled gun, but they didn't use it that much. They patched it out to the cavalry. Well, you will discover in the, at the Normandy game that, uh, yeah, that's exactly what they're used for. Um, okay, so sense, we, but... we already did that. So events... Events from the Germans. And silence. Thinking. What do you think, Mike? Uh, one second. To this may impact your decision making. I do want to point out that these two squares are currently isolated. Yep. Okay. I was going to point That's that out. That's what I wanted to know about. I'm going to point that out once we get to road movement. But yeah, they 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 are isolated now. Interestingly enough, that doesn't actually reduce their combat effectiveness, but it makes anything you do with them more expensive. Yeah, Which I mean, is, that's how it should work. Hey, Ron, yeah, because I mean. Because we are, this is like all supposed to be taking place over like a day ish. Right, right. So them being cut off of their base of supply for okay. like a few hours isn't going to affect them too badly, but it is going to impact. Oh, I, I told it. Actually, I told it. Dirty lie. They're vulnerable. Oh no, that's low supply. Sorry. That's low supply. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's for multi-day games. We may run into that in. Um, or yeah, Normandy. Yeah, I think that did happen in the Little Wars game when it sure the did. Yep. American drop zone was going over. <laughs> yeah. 
Okie dokie. What you do? What you? What you play? What you play? Uh, attack. Atomic bomb. Cool. Wipe out on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Who'd you surprise attack? These guys. Well, that's basically the thing, but it's these guys that can't. All right, we well, don't. Oh, do no. it yet. You don't do it yet. So you have declared ah. that these guys may not use any tactics. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, there's that. Any other events? No. Any other road movement? Road. Right. No. Any road movement? Sorry. Nope. All right. Ops phase. Now, this is where we observe that, as was correctly said, this guy right here and this guy right there are isolated. Why? Because they cannot trace a line of squares back to this that does not cross an enemy Zoc that is not otherwise occupied. Because in theory, those tanks there. Okay. Cause you had a unit here and a unit here, and then this, you could just trace a line right. like that or Correct. like that. So please, to make, here. so please to make your movements. So what does that do? Cost it? They cost double. Yeah. To... Now this tactical move he just made cost two points. Okay. But two dice. Yes. Now everybody else can move, of course, but it costs him two. So basically, the entire command cost two just because he was isolated. Exactly. Okay. Oh. oh, they're coming in. Get out. Okay. Now, because this has a, a German marker, is that an objective there? Which one? Sorry. The town. Yes. Yes. The, the, yes that is one of your objectives. Okay. I figured that that's why we were spending so much effort to attack. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't, I'd just bypass it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, i just keep driving. <laughs> Chrono realized there was a good wine place in there, so he's trying to get <laughs> like, in. Like, look, oh, the the colonel in one. charge, mm -hmm. just just like the town. And so. Yeah. It was so, a good, uh, good diner. Watching down there. <laughs> so any other, uh, any, other any other movement here? No. Nine. All right, which of the, which of the combats do you want? All of them. <laughs> I guess Mike, you go. All right, What's Mike, that? You're going first. Sure. You got a three. Three to five, isn't it? Yeah. Three to oh, five. Here? Th throwing no, it's three to three. We're tipped. Are we oh, that's only right. Yeah, only, oh. only one of them should be tipped, though, oh, yeah. I think. No, no, they were both, both, both are temp. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's, uh, yeah, three to three. Three to three Germans artillery. I want a shot, give them. That's common. That's uh, a the, downshift. It, yep. It just, uh, we'll throw in our artillery. That's eight. That's eight. Six to three. How about you, uh, Americans? Any artillery? Uh, it's all tipped currently. Okay. Tactics? Uh, done when I can. We're double checking. I'd say no there. If anything, this or probably this one. If yeah. we're gonna use any here, because we've only got one one left, so right. or you can hold it for yours yourself here yeah we'll do it yeah let's hold it okay that's fine all right six three downshift for the three roll yeah six nice four four and nothing. whiff so, we get two yep and so oh, well, we, that's gonna kill one of that them out yep yeah, we finally got a kill. Yay. We killed one. And that's going to take him down. We're good. We're going home now. <laughs> you got, do you guys want to leave? Yes, um, we do. We want to go back to Munich. Not you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talking to us. Do the Americans want to leave? 
Uh, we'll take you to Munich with us. Come on. <laughs> I, I should I should stand there, shouldn't I? Force him to retreat. Yeah, probably. They'll right. tip him. Uh, but that lets him go back into the town. This is true. In fact, requires him to do so. Yeah. So I actually, if if I leave, I can go into the town. Nope. You can't retreat into the town. You have to retreat okay. uh, away from yeah. the enemy. Yeah. But you I can't can retreat do... into a square the enemy took, attacked you from. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you so could I go could here or here, or you yeah. can go all the way back here, or even here. So. Okay. Um, so what do you think I should do? Or you could go. You could go here with the tanks. Yeah, that's what that was my plan. Yeah, I go to the tanks. Okay. Okay. That's that. And now this thing. Holy cow. We see the Germans coming in with four, eight, twelve. It's going to be ten because the tanks are attacking into non-open terrain. Most Dukes are. The assault guns. <laughs> Don't take downshift? I, no, it's... no, only in okay. mountain, bocage, or urban. Forest oh. does not cause town does not cause downshift. Armor and not open, yeah. So they are vulnerable. They're vulnerable, so they're at two t yeah, as you say, ten. Two eight? Yes, should be yep. eight, because they're ten to eight. Crash. Uh Germans artillery. Yes. Tip it. So that's thirteen to eight. No artillery for the Americans. Uh, it sounded like people had wanted to do tactics. So why don't you just take a look at that? I'm going to step away for a minute while Ron's resolving mm -hmm. his side of the table. Okie dokie. All right, 13 to 8. What'd you play? I played. Reserve artillery, attacker gets one shift up only with the first tactical phase of the turn. All right, Abu. so 13 to 8 with an upshift. I think that's it. Blarg. Oh, dear. Whiff. That's a total whiff, yep. Ron? Oh, that's not a whiff. Yeah, we got to stop rolling lunch. Uh, I will take one on each and then evade and then withdraw. <laughs> yeah, because you're motorized. Yes. So everybody gets one. Something for everybody. It does tip them, but. Okay, I gotta be. Okay, I marked him down. I gotta be careful. Yeah, these guys are both marked now. Yeah, don't don't no, pull them out until I can mark them. Oh, sorry then. No problem. This guy is getting marked then. Sorry. I did mark him, and then one other guy's got got to get a mark. Where is he? No, I whiffed totally. There were, oh, you only had two? Yeah, there were, there were only two in there. Oh, that's what I'm confused by. Thank you. So then they both uh, ditched their thing on the evade. Okay, got it. And they tip. And you guys get the space. All right, cool. That's all there is there. And looks like, yep, next turn, turn seven. Uh, We are resetting. Reset, three dice. I move this pile of dice out. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> it pile it was. I'll leave these here because they're unique. Yeah, those are the permanents. I get all three. Yay. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Untip. Oh, yeah, hang on here. Beat him, run. Yep, pushed them back. Give them each a point. And then they evaded to avoid that second point. Five to one on the die roll? Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to stop rolling ones. I don't think there's... A... <laughs> I don't think there's any... Uh... I don't see any events I want to play at this point. Unless you want to do that. Uh, how... Do you want to reorganize one of our infantry units? 
Uh, yeah, that one could use it. Okay, we'll play that one then. Who gets reorganized? Uh, right here. Oh, he could use a little love, couldn't he? And then we will invoke a tactical phase, because you do not want to do rogue movement. Oh, we go. If you go... Hmm, you saw this tank, one, two, you get a flank by hitting him from the other side. Oh, I know. Those guys are not giving up those trees so easy. No, they are not. Uh, let me see what we want to do. So I attack here, and I need a marker here. Where's that? I'm sorry. Give me a ping. Thank you. All right. You good? Think Sp so. Start where? Over here on the left it's again? Start on the left, as is tradition. As is apparently tradition. What's your totals tradition. come to? Two. Three, three, eight, versus two, four. Eight to four. Uh, ally, or yeah, Americans artillery. Let's start in one. Eleven to four. Germans artillery? Nope, we ain't got any. All right. Eleven to four. Uh, tactics. Go ahead, go to your boards if you want. Uh, I will not play any this time for these guys. All right, anything from the Germans? Nine. Eleven to four, no shift. Sojay back? Yep, I'm here, I'm sorry. Oh, that's yeah, right. Four, yeah, that's two. two. Yep. Four. Eleven to four and a four. Nothing. Still doesn't kill him. Kill him. Does not kill him. Yeah, it does. That's their last one. Is oh, it is in both cases. Uh, yeah, they? got him. Sorry. Yeah, both of them have. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, both. I thought, of them well, I thought one had one left. Folks, grenadiers fought bravely, but lose eventually. They did put a pretty tough fight. Honestly. Yeah, it was. <laughs> no, no, they're there to be commended. I think. All right, next fight. We're over here. That's a ooh a flanking attack, which will involve a saucy downshift. We also have armor values. Who is your lead tank, Americans? Uh, I don't really think it either one matters. I think well, that, it'll three. matter if you lose. Well, they're all three threes, so yeah, they're all threes. Yeah. So we'll right. just oh, use so there's the no terms. there's there's no armor advantage. Right. Okay. No. Yeah. Very good. Uh, four. Twelve. Yeah, twelve. Ooh, twelve to two. Twelve to two. Uh, no, three, isn't it? No, yeah. it's a, he's a, got a two defense. No, it's his armor. His armor is three. His combat value is three. Yeah, it's, his three combat, but it's his combat value that figures for the fight. Yeah, but his combat value is three. He has a three, and the, he has two steps left. Oh, that's that's right. He's got the two steps left. I'm sorry. That's that's what was confusing me. 
I thought that was the yeah. You, you know, some have the split. I got to figure out a better way of denoting the split. Uh, twelve to th- twelve to three, artillery Americans. Uh, none. Germans. We don't have any. A tactics. I don't think we need one. He's already downshifted one. Okay. Well, I'll think about it, and we'll see. Well, if I'm downshifted one, I don't even need to roll because I can't hit him. No, no, we're upshifted. He's not downshifted. Oh, we're upshifted. That's right. Okay. But I think we're ready. Anything from the Germans? Nope. And what do we got from the Americans? No tactics. 12 to 3 upshift for the 12. Ooh, there you go. Yep, that's a kill battle. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. Well, that's we know how that goes. Over well. There we go. Yeah, that's a white bot. I have a flanking attack out of the trees here. Is he not? One, two, and then... No, but they're all adjacent to you. He can't be adjacent to your guys. That, what are you talking about? Who's these who, guys? Who are your attackers? This guy and these two. Ah, okay. So none of these guys in here, then. Got it. Yeah, they're, they're chilling. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> they're having a they're, smoke. <laughs> yeah, that is his, they're not sure why they're not attacking, but they're not unhappy about it. Eight, twelve. Who's hiding in them trees? I have 12, and they should have 10 because of the uh, Stug. Yeah, but we're you're using the 7th Regiment and the 30th, so we're going to have a shift. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Accurate. So a flanking attack negates that, at least. So. 12 to 2 with a no net. Artillery? No, no, 12 to 10. <laughs> 12 to 10. Why did I say that? Yeah, 12, whoa. 12 to 10 with a no net. Artillery? Anybody? I don't have uh, I will pass on the artillery for this one. Okay, 12 to 10. Tactics, anybody? Don't have any. Okay. Um, I'll leave it. So I'll skip the, take the 12. 12 to 10, no shifts. Ugh, two. Yeah, so. Uh, ten I got one. One and 12. One. Yes, both one. one. One each. Uh, Take one. Uh, yeah. Take one off the infantry? Yeah. They're all same. infantry, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, same here. Uh, anybody in particular? Are they all the same? They're all the same. We'll take one on the 30th. Yeah. Germans hanging? Germans are hanging. Allies are running. Running and tipping. Then finally over here. Let's see. Not a flank. A it flank. is a flank. I'm it going is a near, flank. Yeah. Near. That's what I was checking. 12 again. Yeah. Just making sure. Yep. And they've got one dude in there or two? Two. 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 12 to 8. 12 to 8 with a uh, upshift for the 12. Any artillery from anybody? I will throw in our other divisional artillery. 15 to 8. Any tactics? Um, I don't have any. Uh, I'll hold. No, I'll pass for now. I'll pass on tactics for now. Fifteen to eight upshift for fifteen. Ugh. Oh man, two. Oh come on, two. <sighs> nothing. Two to nothing. I mean, that could have gone a lot better, but it also could have gone a lot worse. That <laughs> could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. yeah. Two. And we're staying. I figured. Doink, doink. All right. And uh, that is it for us, I think. Is that turn? Okay. Yep. 
halfway point, turn eight. Clearing the board or running? Reset or no, Germans? Uh, I don't think we need to reset. Do you reset? Uh, probably not. That's fine. All right, six dice. There's a one. That's five. Five. Untip. I'm going to step away for a second. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. Event? <laughs> If anything, I'd say this one, maybe. Somebody. Uh, which ones? Uh, I've got my two over here, I think, are both down one point each. I didn't know what, if you had anybody down. Yeah, I got one here that's protecting a... Uh... Point. Point. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I'd... Two, actually. Yeah. I mean, no reason to just sit on it, so. So what you playing? How about this one instead? I think I can get both of them with it. And it costs the same. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, might as well. What's that do? Ooh, replacement battalion. Which we got a whole battalion. Which square? <laughs> Any other events? Nope. Road movement? Negative. Let's check for anybody. I don't think you've got anybody isolated anymore. You do not. So where you go? Tactical ops. Yeah, killing people helps uh, fix your isolation. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think of them as having surrendered, sir, but I get your point. Like I said, killing them. <laughs> You got any movements, Mike? No, I don't think I do. All right. All right, that's it? One fight? Yeah, yep. All right, let's call it. What's going on in this crazy hex? That's a lot of dudes. Four? Four. Ten? No, eleven. Eleven to... Two. No, no, no. He's four. Remember, he's in a clear hex. Yeah, no, I'm talking about my inventory here. Oh, sorry. They're tipped. They're tips, so they're half. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, six, four. So it's ten. Math is hard. Is that ten to ten? I believe it is. No, ten to eleven. It's eleven to ten. So it's it's eleven to ten. What's our armor value? Mine's two. And Three. His, ooh, armor advantage goes to the Americans. 11 to 10 with an armor advantage to the Americans. Uh, artillery um, uh, Germans. Yes. 14 to 10. Americans? Uh, artillery is all tipped. Uh, okay. Tactics either side? Yes. Uh... I have a tactic. 
pick it, and then we'll everybody got it. There's chosen. Yep. What you got, Chrono? I have uh, Piox and Bazookas. Whenever a unit doubles its combat value, if at least one enemy armor unit is attacking. Okay. Who's doubling? Uh, the one who is not tipped, not surprisingly. <laughs> They're giving you an extra four. 14 to 14. What'd you bring? Dalinar. There we go. Mass target. If there are three defending units, double the barrage value of one artillery unit. 17 to 14. You guys are playing for keeps. No shift, 17 to 14. Two. Oh, and there's 17. I oh. thought we had the advantage because we had the armor advantage. He's going to take an extra hit. He's okay. effectively going to take three hits. Because yeah, of the but you guys advantage. are going to take four. That's a nasty one. That was a nasty fight. So I must give this Stug one bonus bit of love. Here it comes. Bip. Because it did not have the armor advantage. But I now have to distribute two more hits to the, uh, to the Germans. Who do you want to get them? One there. Oh, that's right. It's got to be. Yeah, it's, so there's one there and one more. You can give it either to the infantry or the Stug. It's up to you. Okay. Takes another two. You got four hits to pass out here. Everybody gets uh, one. Everyone's going to take one. So he'll go to two. He goes to three. He goes to three. And then I think I will have the 30th Regimental Combat Team here withdraw. Okay. Everybody else stays. Everybody else stays. All right, they stay, so Germans leave. Be gone. That was pretty nice. Actually, actually, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to withdraw. Retreat. And tip. Germans do not tip. No, we do not. We never tip. You tipple, but you do not tip. <laughs> okay. Do you wish to go to a second? Oh, can't. Turn nine. We are not resetting, unsurprisingly. Not resetting. Six dice. All of them. Nice. Tip. Or untip, actually. I don't have anything to untip. These guys do. Those guys are... Yeah. <laughs> Chrono's got a ton to untip. And then, of course, once you're done untipping, I'm going to ask you for events. Let me take a look at our events. Yeah, I haven't looked at them yet. That would be handy again, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. That's expensive. I don't think I really want to do that yet. Look at the top ones. Wait, this one? Mm-hmm. Because it will let you do what was done to you last game. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to use it for that. I can just run okay. straight in. Okay. But I also All want right. to do something else with that in this turn. Okay. I, I, okay. Don't, I don't need it this turn actually, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. Okay. Uh, do we need to do um, one, two, three, four, five? I'm thinking of it. I mean, I kind of want to do this, but I don't think I need to right now because... Okay, okay. Okay. Those are the only two things I thought make, made any sense. Okay. 
Okay, we are going to go on to a tactical phase. Oh, no events. Okay, very good. Tactical phase. Here it comes. Bonk. In the tradition Bonk. of our people. Sounded like you had a second one. Where's that? Um, it's all the same one right now. Oh, okay. Actually, mm, I was gonna no. say that you're 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 already in a downshift position, but aren't you? No, I have armor. Uh, oh, okay, got it. I'm just checking something. Do that. Oh, there it was. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's all he's... Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna attack there right now. Just so there's, yet. there's. This is the only fight, though, right? This is the only fight. Yes. Okay. All right, let's figure it out. Here we go. Uh, cha cha cha. No. F so everybody's in. So no flank. Um, count it up. Actually, there should be there should be a flank from this. He came in from this square. These guys are all adjacent to each other, though. No. These oh, guys I see. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Here. That always screws me up. Yeah. Three. Do, 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 do. Three, six, ten. Who's got the advantage? I think we're tied on it because uh, we're both. Three, no armor advantage. Yep. So, so ten to. I think eight. <laughs> ten to ten to eight. Yeah. Yep. Ten to eight. Um, with no armor advantage. Allies, artillery? I will throw an artillery, yes. 13 to 8. Germans, artillery? Don't have any. Tactics? Yes, I got one. All right. Chrono? I'm ready. Okay, what you got, uh, what you got, run? Panzerfaust. One of two units doubles its combat value if at least one enemy armor unit is attacking. Oh, we got those piats again. Uh, okay, so that's a two. Yeah, that guy. There's, now it's 13 to 11. Crowner, did you play anything? Uh, did you include my artillery? Yeah, that's how you got to 13. Oh, whoops, sorry. I'm not thinking correctly. Uh, I have two tactics. Uh, I have an airstrike, okay. um, which gives me a shift up. So I have two shifts. Mm -hmm. Total and a pinning attack, so they may not evade and would negate his withdrawal tactic if he played it. Okay, so those are done. So obviously it's thirteen to ten then. Yeah. Yes. Thirteen to yeah, it's thirteen. I wish to I 10. had air strike. Thir you you don't have air power at this point <laughs> in the war. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, it exist. thirteen thirteen to ten with an upshift for the thirteen. Two shifts. I have an airstrike plus the flank. Ah yes, quite. So. Bob, what was it now? 13. So you got uh, 4 for Chrono. You got 10, no? No, I have... Yeah, uh, no, Six. I have 11, don't I? 6. 11, you're right. It is 11. Yep. 11, no upshift. Two. Four to 2. Uh, let's see here... Let's deal with the two. That's easier, I suppose. Who do you want it from, Chrono? Or pick uh, there. Actually, let's do Ron's first because he's got. He's actually got a pick. Because he, you know, he's got four. That's right. So everybody in Ron's gets one, and he can't evade. Right. So two of those Keeps stands it. are going bye bye. Oh, you can't evade. Why can't I evade? Pinning attack. I played. Pin, I played ping attack. Oh, right, right. So that guy's gone, and this guy's gone. Well, not necessarily. It's up to him now. 
You can either kill this infantry or... Oh, yeah. You gotta kill the infantry or the stud. Infantry. And who do you want it on, Chrono? Uh, I, I have to put it on this guy because he's fresh. Good point. And then I'll take it on this other infantry. Stay or go, Chrono. Oh, I'm staying. I'm pinned. I gotta stay. No, at the end no, of the no, no. At the end, you can no, 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 no. I'm pinned. I gotta stay. Oh, okay. He's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Got it. No, oh, these guys are. Hey, no, bye, bye. I'm stacking them up back here. Uh, I think that's all the combat. Do you want to try for one more this round or leave it? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I think the advantage would be to us to to do another tactical face, but I can see that hanging back and giving them th a little bit of breathing space too. I think I will pass for now. All right. And send it on to turn 10. Turn 10. Reset. Mike? I think we have to. I think so? All right. Okay, I'm just going to go through here and delete the uh, non-permanents. All right. Three dice, right? Yes, sir. What happens now that we're sitting on top of his... Oh, yeah. Uh, every move you make now costs two. Or an extra one, rather. So well, an extra two, one, yeah. It's two for the first one, three for the second one. Exactly. Except yeah. All your units sure. are taken as isolated is the point. Mm -hmm. You can reset this artillery, too, I think. Yeah, now, well, we just rolled the points. Now it's back to untipping. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's okay. It was the very next thing. And after we do the untipping, we say, do you want to do an event? I don't think we can afford to, Mike. No, I don't think so either. All right, one tactical phase then. I don't have anything I can or want to do, Ron. So if you do, I go ahead. I do, but I don't want to spend. We only got three points. So I don't <laughs> want to spend it. I know that feeling. Okay. <laughs> so you're just gonna pass? Okay. Yeah. Well, pass. All right, turn eleven. Okay, no reset on our side. Go. Got them all. Let's see. Hey, Jim, can you straighten up this one right here? Sure. Just untip. Which one is straighten out, Jeff? This one right there. Come on. I, it doesn't quite. It's been annoying me. All right. Untips are done. Events. Ooh. Um, uh, I don't think I have any I really want to play. Um, actually, I'll reorganize my armor. All right, which one? Uh, let me see. I think most the only one is. I think the only one's taking damage is this guy. Yeah. All right. He is reorganized. Any other events? That will do. Any road movement? No road movement. Tactical movement. Tactical phase. It is first tactical phase. see any fights yet so let me know if I'm missing it thank you any others look 
looked like it on Jeff and my side of the table. You got any, Jeff? No, 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 no. I have none. He's 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 getting. He's not touching you. He's very close, but he is not touching. I just hit these guys over here. Got it. Um, I think that'll do it for me. All right, a couple bonks. Yet again, he comes in with his flank attack. Who are the attackers here? This guy and these two? Yeah, Got yep. It. Thank you. Three, six, ten. Ooh, ten to two. Ten to two. Ten to two. Armor values even. Uh, ten to two artillery in, uh, Alex. Uh, I'll hold my artillery. Axis artillery. No. Ten to two. Any attack? To, any tactics? Um. I'm ready. Run. I'm ready. What'd you bring, Chrono? Nothing. <laughs> How about you, Ron? Nada. 10 to 2, no shifts. Uh, flank, uh, sorry, up shift. 10 shifts up. Uh, 6. Ah, <laughs> dang it. 4. Double. You rolled a lot of things, Ron, but you only get to roll 1. I know. I didn't realize you said it. 6. Oh, oh hey, no. you got... That's a hit. That's, That's <laughs> actually 2 hits. Oh, no, it's yep. uh, 10 to 2. No, yeah, it's yeah, 1. Yeah, yeah, it's just... it's the only possible result that would have given him a hit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. This. That's still 1 hit. Uh, however, it, that's going to kill dude. Yeah. It has to go in the tank because he's the freshest unit. And you just fixed him. I know. Just... And finally, we'll go back here. Uh, I should be 12 for mine. 4, 8... You and your flanks. Many flanks. I like flanking. Why not? 12. 12 to 8. Artillery? Art allies? I will... Th um, I'll throw in one. 15 to 8. Germans? Throwing in mine. 15 to 11. Tactics? Hey, hey Jim, those... The three dice we have must have been from this thing because friggin' we're missing them too. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're what? We're on tactics, right? Tactics. I'm ready. I'm ready. Corona. Uh, I have infiltration, so I'll double a combat value of this unit. And then I have also played smoke to give the hunters a shift down. All right, so you went from 15 to 19? Mm-hmm. What'd you play, Ron? I played attack broken. Oh, so you get to kick somebody out who's kicked out. I will retreat this guy. So it's back to being 15, because <laughs> this guy's value is doubled still. Yep. So 15. I that. So it's 15. Oh, I also... Go ahead, Ron. And I did concealed position. Which does what? Defender gets one shift up. So okay, so that... 15, 11, that no... Yeah, 15, 11, no net. Yeah, well, that washes my shift down yeah. for you, but I still go shift up from flanking. Flanking, yep. 15 shifts up, 11, no shift. Yeah. 15 is that's one with one shift Two up total. 16 what'd you roll run three uh three three wasn't it it's two yep two to two so i have only have two places to take it so <laughs> and me too i repeat you really do have to stop rolling ones man i'm trying i'm doing my no, best. I, re I repeat you have to keep rolling ones the only thing Rondo... saving us right now. We, we need Rondo to roll a six on that one. <laughs> that would yeah, be you know. nice. 
staying or going? Oh, I'm staying. Figured. Uh, let me check something before I make this decision. You don't have a decision. You got to go. No, he's talking about whether he does another tactical phase. Oh, I was thinking about untipping, paint on tip, but I'm not sure I have enough. Uh, I don't feel like I have another tactical phase. Night, Vance. See you tomorrow. Uh, Night, Vance. We might as well. Let's give it a go. It was an hour ago. Oh, was it? I don't know. Something close to that. It's been a while. All right. So that's two. We're doing a second tactical phase. All right. Here it comes. Hello, here they come. Watch out, boys. They'll chew you up. You move one here to remove these, and then I'll move two up into here. I'm obviously looking for fights. So. Are you hitting these guys? Yeah, I'm, I, I just figure it's what I've got left, so. I'll throw in these inventory from the other side. Well, that makes a, a, a shift up, but a shift down, so that works. And, no, there's no shift because there's a Zoc from enemy Zoc here, so. I can't just get a flank here unless I attack from directly in front. I don't have the units to, for that. Because uh, these guys have a Z ZOC that covers this, so oh, no okay. flanking bonus. But all right, other combats I'm missing. Oh, you're attacking the artillery. Yeah, I, and I because I can get a flank using the, these tanks. So yep, might thought, as well then. Yeah, thought we'd try. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. Kind of pull these guys out from underneath you there. Oh, duck guy. I knew it. Oh, no. They melded it with the Shermans. <laughs> Some World War II horror movie. There's only one set of Shermans here. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was supposed it to be, be in two. There should be German. another German infantry there. Yep. Yeah, there should be. I'm, I'm spawning him. Yeah, he's just trying to figure out how to get it all sit, sitting on there without. It's there. that jello mold. It's like wiggling around. It's it making them jello. Good deal. All right, so that's a fight. That's a fight. Any others? There's a fight right here. Oh, wow. You're going for it. I figure we ought to. Oh, that one there. Got it. Okay. Is that it? Which one we want? Let's start over here at the left, like we always do. All right. Full tank at two. It's going to be eight. Eight, yeah. Eight, two... Five, I think, because they have the guns. Yeah, they've got that defense of three. Wait, do they? Yeah, they've got a split. Oh, yeah, That's do, that yeah. split defense I was telling you about. Oh, that's right. So they have seven. Yeah. You want to throw some artillery in there? Seven. Um, three. yeah. Eight to seven, so it's eleven to seven. German artillery, any available? No, it's sitting there. What am I talking about? Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's <laughs> you can't a, bombard. Yeah, it's eleven to seven tactics. Let me see, let me see. That's for you, Jack. Yeah. Try this one, Ron. Yep. No? Yes. Panzerfaust. Yes. Panzerfaust. Right, Panzer oh, a Panzerfaust. Very good. Who doubles? Do you have more than one uh, of those? 
Because you just they reset. They reset last turn. Oh, yeah. they just reset. That's what happened. Yeah. I think both infantry units are in the same strength, aren't they? Yeah. 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 So it doesn't matter. Yeah. They just double. So it's. It was. A hey, uh, hey, Jeff. Let me know what you think it of these two. It was eleven to seven. Now it's eleven okay. to ten. Yeah. Hang on. Let me get down there. Eleven. To oh no! Wait, I can't use that one. Never mind. Um... It's eleven to ten. Thinking that one and that one. Yeah, remember, this is not, of course, killing the artillery would be helpful, but the real battle we need to win is that objective, so. Wait, wait. Jim, what'd you say the Germans have? Okay, they all save those. The okay. Germans should have 11 because they threw in their artillery. Two. No, the Germans' artillery is being attacked. I, yeah, the, the Germans. Oh, the, well, what am I saying the Germans have? Yeah, the Germans have one, Six. three. three. Ten, right? Seven. Seven. Is it his defense value three? It is. Yeah, because he doubled. Three. And his oh, is oh, yeah, three. So it's three. Not Yeah, it's ten. Yep. Ten to eleven, then, with a sh with no, no shift. shift because well, no, of flank. We get... Well, you have a flank, but the mountain negate, the mountain down right. downshift, so it, it washes. Right. And All does right. the mountain count as out in the open, or no? No. Because then Hello. the tag's value is half. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. That's, right. That's why that Sherman is only two. Uh, okay. Then the attackers apply a shift down versus it. Correct. Right. right. Which is why the shift up that they would have from the flank is washed. Gotcha. So it's 11 okay. to 10. Sweet. All right. We understand. Cool. Ready to roll? Yep. I am. Come on, Mikey. 11 to 10, no shifts. Hey, Jeff. Uh, uh, 11 on a 5, 3. 3. A 1 on a 10, nothing. Missed. Oh. So the port that that's going to kill the gun. Yep. Will it? I yeah. mean, because they got to take. They got to, Everybody's got to take one. Well, well, no, well, because the oh, that's right. This takes one. Yeah, yeah. So, so it'll be they want so, to. They could blow up both the infantry. Yeah, but... that's that. No, well, it wouldn't blow them both up. Oh yeah, no, no, they won't. You, you, you got to split this. You got two points to split up however you want, right? I don't know that there's much point in keeping the artillery though, because it's a lot weaker, and it just assaults again. Yeah, just take out the artillery. And then one of these guys takes a hit. Yeah. Okay. And obviously you're staying, so the Germans are going. The Americans are leaving. <laughs> the Americans are leaving. I yeah. Next fight. All right, this is the one that counts. Okay, never do this. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> there are five. Look at them. Why are they locking together like that? I, I it don't just happens. It's, it's, it's some kind of weird thing with the TTS physics. Yep. It just happens. It's... You got to keep them separate. There's no reason. There's no reason to put them on top of each other that way. Okay, so Here. we have an Americans have nine, looks like. But they've downshift because of the urban terrain. Yep. Yep. Four. We got 12. Yep. Nine to 12. American artillery. Uh, we used it. All gone? Okay. Yep. Drop an airstrike on them. Right. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Uh, Germans got any artillery left? Uh, no. Not for them, anyway. Okay. Oh, no, we don't have any left. Mine's tapped. Yeah. I'm ready to reveal tactics. Any tactics? Run? Uh, uh, it's OJ's. Okay. None for us. Any tactics? Yeah. Nope, none for us. Chrono? Okay, Americans have flamethrowers and an airstrike. Airstrike does Both what? The... Airstrike gives a shift up, clear weather only, not permitted in woods. Mm -hmm. Flamethrowers is attacker gets one shift up when attacking urban terrain, as long as the one infantry is attacking. So I think that washes out to one net shift up. Correct. So it's 9 to 12 with a net shift up. 
uh, yeah. Nine on a four. Six. Three. Ooh. Ooh. Four to three. Wait, they have 12, right? They think yeah. it's 3 to 3, isn't it? It's 3 to 3. Oh, 3 to 3. Yeah. I had a, I had it in my head that they had to shift up for some reason. All one, right. 1 and 1. Everybody takes one. You okay. get one and you get one and everyone get gets one. a hit. <laughs> they just took a beating. You did it again to me. Don't do that. No touchy. No touchy till I fix them. To make them unless you want me to let them have their strength back, which I doubt. And I, you will notice that they are predicting that you are not, in fact, going to retreat. Oh, and in yeah. fact, they, uh, one of those guys actually is at full strength because entrenchment I'm takes here. the first hit. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then all the buildings take the rest. <laughs> That's not wrong. This particular town has got hammered by a P-47. So. <laughs> yeah, well, neither of these towns is feeling good about itself, but, but I would say Sal's is having the worst time of it. Oh yeah, Saul's got fought over like three times. Yeah, so. that's, that that didn't go well. All right, last one here, is it? Yeah. Oh no. Yep. Oh yeah, that's it. All right, so um, here's some stuff. Tank, tank, no flank. Uh, four, four, twelve, versus. Twelve. Twelve, 12 to twelve. 12 to 12, no German artillery, no or American artillery. No. Nope. Germ, German artillery? No. Okay. no. Tactics, 12 to 12? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Anybody? None. I got none. All right. So it's 12 to 12, a downshift for the Germans because of tank shock. You want to roll, Chrono? Oh, even though we're in... Uh, uh, Sure, I'll Entrenchment roll. doesn't help. Okay. Four. Two. 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 One. So. No, that would be zero. Zero, zero for us. Gosh. Yeah. You do zero yep. hits, and you all have to take one hit. So it's all the same. Just making sure. Let's give it to the guy in the front. I assume they want to stay because they can't. They don't have to really retreat to anyway. Yeah, so. I don't know where they'd go. So, <laughs> that's it for us. We about ready to wrap this up. Yeah, I was about to say we're gonna mark turn twelve, and that's it. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I mean it's obviously an American win. I mean, I you know, um, they've got a boatload of armor, most of which is untouched um the it, it won't be easy as we saw digging out this group you know but they're gonna get dug out it's just a yeah. matter of time how much do the Ameri how much do the uh, they only got what two more turns to dig them out no four all right that's true uh, that's true no, no. they've only 13, got two, they've only got have, they've got 13 and 15 yeah you've only got two more moves to do it that's yeah, a good so point and you've yeah, got to Germans get... could dig it. The Germans could pull it out. Glad to get. We have to get one more objective. Yeah. You got to get yeah, one of these, these two. These guys have been defending themselves like crazy. Yeah. And there's not a lot of. I mean, I mean, I'm, really, could I'm willing to call it American victory. Just that it is possible that we could defend in the last two turns. See, now you're making me save it to maybe sneak one in at the end <laughs> of another game. Yeah, yeah I'll save it. I mean, because remember my. My game came down to my last, the very last attack of the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I'm running out of strength over here. He's going to have to. Yeah, because yeah, these, guy, yeah. these guys are down to two each. These guys are still relatively. No, these guys are all. The 15th has yeah. been really badly beat up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, how fighting in the trees and in the, that city. Yeah, I'm, uh, no kidding. We we've done a lot of hard work. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, what do you have to now that I think about it? What do you have to take, uh, Shermek? Uh, they've got like one three. They have some tanks to get thrown in. They really want to throw tanks in. 
just to eat hits. Um, which might be the one thing you use tanks for in urban combat with your infantry. You use them to eat hits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, my tanks they... are unhurt. Yeah, but they're they're not as useful, and you know they're only yeah. they're they're actually we as you know they're weaker than infantry. Yeah, but at this point, they're, they're, they're what you've they're they're what you've got. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, at this point, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say that, but I mean, I think the Germans could pull it out. Yeah. So I've saved yeah, it. I've so saved it. No, I, I agree. I, we can maybe uh, sneak one in. We're at turn twelve. Everybody yeah. marked at twelve. We can sneak it in. So I'm curious. Uh, from let's see here, uh, Jeff. OJ and Ron's perspective. What do you think of Rommel? <laughs> I actually I love like it. it. Oh. I do it's like it. It's basically a board game. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. Um, and some people hold that against it. I know that. Um, some people don't like that because they like the miniatures feel. But as I said, I, I don't know how you make this level of game make sense with a miniatures game, with a true <laughs> fluid movement miniatures game. It's the blue code for World War II. Yeah. No, I in in as when I first came to it, I'm thinking miniatures. But once I got my head around that it's a board game, then it became really easy. Yeah. Yeah. OJ. Yeah, um, excuse me. It's uh, it's interesting. A lot different than anything else we've done with from Sam, right? Mm -hmm. So, I think it's just getting your head wrapped around and, and understanding the, the 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 different nuances of it. So of course, yeah. not bad. You're talking me in the ants a little bit to get into I mean, it. Like, no. you know, not realizing that sticking those stugs up here in Sal's was probably not the best thing, and probably should put a third infantry up in there to begin with. You know, yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, the The Americans have a heck of a actually they've got a much heavier lift than I thought. Yeah, I th mm -hmm. from an American perspective, I mean, you kind of think, oh, look, I've got all this armor and stuff, but like, most of the objectives are in the woods or in towns and tanks don't help you too much with that <laughs> right no and yeah. and honestly i like that because that feels real to me the sense of oh yeah you see all this good green space in this area it's all you go go mm -hmm. you win oh i'm sorry your objective were these towns yeah good luck with that yeah did i have any strength left at all is amazing that's um, yeah it, yeah no because this 15th rct took you're right and chrono you're right it took an absolute beating they I mean they didn't lose that many stands but they're not in great shape <laughs> yeah and we did get because we played that one tactic and we killed that stug early, early on that really did help us because that left our armor pretty much uh unaffected and then he had the stug here in the, the town so our armor was able to kind of run around that was helpful. Yeah, but I don't think the Stugs would have done too much except for defending back here, really, because basically your armor is three to one to us, you know? So you have three to one armor. So I'm... Yeah, I'm, I mean... Okay, I know that we we have Michael Quigley, who is literally joining us from Australia, watching live. Oh, hello. Uh, good morning, I think. Hey. Yeah? Yeah, something like that. And uh, apparently he is Quigley down under, though he doesn't have the sweet stash, is what he says. And uh, Achilles does say it is great to see Ron back at the table. Thanks, Achilles. And it is. I agree completely. Now, hopefully, yeah. we can see T back. Like, yeah. I'm kind of... Go on. I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of thinking about what, how I would have played this as the Germans. And what I think I might have done is put more inventory up here in this area. Up near the, the mountain there. Oh, I already yeah. know how. I already know how I would have changed the things around. Yeah. Like, I, know, I learned a lot of, from my first game. I was like, don't, you think, you think you're think you relatively secure, but if you leave, like, a gap, then any armor will drive through it. And they will, they will hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember, though, it's like, because you're the attackers, you have a, you actually have a lot more units than we do. So we had to spread them out thin between all these. We didn't want to leave them totally, like, by themselves out here out in the open here here yeah you know, i defending this town and with the he put it in the trees and stuff that that was a oh good well yeah. yeah that was a good setup i like this setup down here that immediately made us plead yeah that felt like, that felt, that lose, felt yeah, you know from a historical yeah, perspective that felt really cool because we didn't lose like we said we didn't lose a lot of stands from the 15th but they're almost all like depleted 
Well, and, 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 you know, we talked about only having two turns left. If I would have thought about it a little bit more, I may have really left, forced you to dig the stug out of sails, right? Because that would have taken you another turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead, I, I and, and part of it was just a little bit of gaminess, a little bit of, hey, let's have fun with something for a change, you know? Hey, yeah, no. Yeah, that's all right. Like, all right. So, so to everybody watching and who catches this video later, um, number one, tomorrow we will be back with more Rommel because we got to train another crew. I need seven people. I need seven for this ridiculous Overlord game. So we're going to train some more. We're going to the East Front with Rommel with a totally different scenario. But this is in the back pocket um, just just in case we want to throw in a couple extra turns and uh, and wrap it up. So any anything could happen. So stick around and watch. And uh, Saturday night fights, I have a plan. I have not fully formulated it yet. Um, I think I know what I'm doing, but, you know, that, that can change day to day. So lots of different things. Thanks, Ron. Great to have you back. Great to see everybody playing. Um, thanks so much. Thanks for everybody who watched. Welcome, Michael Quigley. That's kind of cool. And, um, yeah, anyway. So come on by. Stay for the games. Have fun. But in the meanwhile, please take care of yourselves and one another. And I did say Overlord Game Amelia. <laughs> Have a, uh, you, and you know you're welcome. You know you're welcome. Don't ever doubt it. But uh, anyway, please take care of yourselves and one another. We'll talk soon.